Let's see. Okay. I don't I don't know if we're live yet. I'm just gonna give it a second because this is the first time we're using StreamYards. <laughs> it's not showing oh, up on YouTube, is it? It is. It just refreshed on your phone too. Oh wait, can you turn my phone volume down? Yeah. Okay, I guess we're live. Let's see. It's giving me ads on my own channel. <laughs> That's a little rude. Okay. Are we live? I think we're live. There we are. Okay. I just clicked out because I don't want our internet to be pressured. Hi, guys. <laughs> it's been a little while. It's been a while, yes. We're back. We're back. Uh, I am nervous. I'm always nervous when I do these things. Um, so there's good. 30 people on. <laughs> I saw people trickling in and I was like, oh, it's only like five people. This will be fine. <laughs> Got a lot um, of uh, people to answer questions for say hi to. Yes, I did see questions come through already. But the cool thing about StreamYards is, is that I can run an intro and an outro. I can play video clips if I want. I should have done nice. a bloopers reel or something for this. Um, so let me run the intro first that is in front of all of my videos. Did it, did it play? It played. It again. played? Yeah. Yes. It's exciting. Look at me. I figured it out. All We're right. We're still both new to live streaming. Well, yeah, we've only done it <laughs> a couple times. And when we first, times. I think Two our first few times, we did it on like our phone. We did. Because did. it was kind of complicated with YouTube. There was a, you had to use like a third party system if you were on a computer. It's very, very weird. But anyways, there are a lot of, um, a lot of comments, a lot of questions here. So we'll, we will go through them as best as we can. We're happy to be here um, before 4th of July. We did want to dress a little bit festive. I wasn't trying, but I, I think I fit. You got the blue and the white. You just yeah. missed, you got a little I bit of red maybe in the lips. Yeah, maybe I should have done that, a red lip. But yeah, hopefully everyone's having a good uh, start to kind of an extended 4th of July weekend. Uh, we've been taking it very easy. Well, I have been, you've been. Yes, but he's been a lot of content. He's been enjoying his Xbox. I have been. I wanted the weekend off. We've had a lot. We've done the past few weekends. We just wanted to kind of simmer down, do nothing. So I have <laughs> succeeded there. But yeah. uh, um, let me know if you can hear us too. If, can you make sure oh. nobody's saying like I can't hear you? Yep, we're getting hellos, really? hellos. Oh my gosh. Uh, Portugal, England, a lot. Okay, the really cool thing about this is I can put your comments on the screen, which is the main reason I wanted to do this. I'm just looking at it down here for anyone's yeah. question to me. <laughs> He's my I'm not texting. I promise I don't do that when I talk to people. That'd be super rude. It's super rude. Super rude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I guess I'm going to start going through comments. I'm overwhelmed already. Um, okay. So oh, that's cool. I like how it pops up. Isn't that so cool? I picked the color and everything. Oh, I should get rid of our names because that's that's staying up too. Can I do that? <laughs> Bear with us. Oh, there we go. Awesome. Oh, okay. So here um, we have a question about noise with ostomies. Never heard you, a thing. Yes, you have. <laughs> Yesterday you had uh, you were a little Shh. louder. <laughs> so yeah, not to like scare anybody off but yes ostomies do make noises i only have a few people i know that say they've never heard their stoma make a noise oh yeah and i'm like how mine's very loud the first time that i heard it i was still in the hospital after surgery and uh it was me and my dad in the room and i'm like what the heck was that noise so we got real quiet we turned off the tv and my stoma like bubbled and it, it's <laughs> it kind of squeaked so yes, they do make noise, but what I'll tell you about mine is I can generally feel before it makes noise. I'll feel pressure behind yeah. my skin. So, I mean, you see me, I'll like cover my stomach. I'll put my hand over it and that usually muffles it. Um, yeah, it took, took a little bit of learning with that. Uh, I had some embarrassing moments in class, but you just play it off. Like somebody else made the noise. And that was fine. Blame me. That's, that's, that's what I do that's now. That's the go-to now is blame me. <laughs> or, or our dogs. That's easier. <laughs> That's easier. Um, I love it. Let's see. And do I know any public influencers that have yeah. colostomies? The only one that comes to mind, and I'm not 100% sure it's a colostomy, but I'm fairly certain it is, 
um, Jerlene Taylor, and she is on Instagram. Um, she is a double ostomate, so she's got a urostomy, but I believe she also has a colostomy. Yep. And let me, I'll, I can type out her Instagram. <laughs> Look at this. If I hit banners, create banner. So hold on, let me see if I can do this. This Jerlene is coming up, but it's spelled right. <laughs> wow, we're both, yeah. we're both yeah, just zooming in. Sorry, we're. <laughs> One screen is high def because I got like a two screen system going on here. One's yeah. high def and one is. Yeah, if anyone far. knows how to help figure that out or assist us with that, our screen resolution, they're both different. We've tried a thousand different things and we can't figure it out. So, yeah. So, anyways, <laughs> the high def one, everything's super tiny on it and I can't get oh, it to increase. Side, right. Yes, Miss Jolene yeah. Taylor is the only one that comes to mind with a cloth to me. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys know, you know, of anybody else. That's the rough thing is every time I mess up my words, I can't just, I can't edit just it edit out. it nope. out. You're live. You guys are going to catch it. <laughs> uh, yeah. So she is lovely. I have met her a few times. I thought you had. Yeah. I don't know if I have. She but... saved me from a creepy guy at a hotel. Oh. She did. We were in. There you go. Where were we? Cleveland. We both spoke at like a little oh, nursing thing. I remember thing. that. Yeah. And the hotel guy uh, needed our phone numbers for something, which looking back, I'm like, that's, that doesn't seem right. But he asked they for hers too. Typically don't. Yeah. But she saved me. She saved me. Thank <laughs> goodness. Um, let me scroll back up. Yeah. We got a lot of hellos. Mm -hmm. We'll get through to try I to say will, hi to everybody. Yes. I will try to get as many comments up on screen so you know that I'm seeing them. Um, how long Marie. does it take to change? Now in public areas and how is camping with an ostomy? So to start with the camping, I don't think I've been camping with an ostomy. I feel like it wouldn't be that challenging because you're kind of secluded into yourself. It's, I think you know, it might be easier. Yeah. Than like. Might be easier what than you got going on. <laughs> someone such as myself. Yeah, I don't. I. Get the shovel. The only the thing hole. that I can think of is when we went to Maine and we didn't have power or water. Oh yeah. In that one cabin. That is true. Um. But you had the compostable was, toilets. Yeah, it was so that's really, really fine. <laughs> yeah, I mean. But no, you're really good at uh, changing it quickly. I know you've had to in the car a few times on long trips um, when you can't really easily safely stop anywhere. So yeah, I would say the only thing that I would avoid if I was changing in public is hopefully my stoma is not being super active. I can yeah. usually feel very similar to when I feel it about to make noise. I know that it's going to be active. So I try to avoid that as much as possible, and um, it's pretty easy. Just, it's like change get at home, but it it, it really wild. is. It really is. Um, as long as you got all like, your supplies, you gotta have all your supplies with you. So that's why yeah. I know you always have a. And you've done videos on that too, like packing your purse or your cute little backpack you got now. That's a back purse. Yes. <laughs> I think something like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so hopefully just watch that. concert security. We're going to another concert, by the way. Tomorrow. <laughs> we but, really enjoyed the concerts that we went to. Yeah. So we're, Despite we're kind the little of, security thing, but we're going to see Falling in Reverse again. Should be and interesting. And some metal bands, which I, you know, I'm not really. We're going to have to mix it up at the end of the uh, summer, maybe do country or something. No, like I want to see, I wanna kinda, see Pink. I told that you that. I would love to see Pink, Kesha. Yeah. That would be so fun. <laughs> um, off on a little tangent there. <laughs> a fun one. <laughs> Let's see. I do not want details. This is going to be a question for you. I do not want details, but please assure me that all of those out-of-pocket medical expenses are deducted from taxable income. Sorry, still mad from April. Uh, <laughs> Same. <laughs> well, we still haven't filed our taxes. Uh, well, we we're always have, delayed because yeah, it's so complicated. Extensions, blah, blah, blah. But yeah. Uh, Yes, all out of pocket. I forgot and it changes every year. If you have an account I, and it's best asked, I think it's like 8,500 or like X percentage of your income. You're able to, once you hit that threshold, then you can deduct it towards your income. Because he's a finance guy. By we've the way, kept if track. You're not aware. I hate taxes. I don't do taxes. I'm not an accountant. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> but um, with that, I do know each year we would track like how many miles we had to drive to or from the hospital mm -hmm. because you can get reimbursed for medical mileage driven. Um, likewise, I would go on Amazon from the previous year and I would just see yeah, what was medical related. Supplies and it's, that's where I buy most of my stuff. And we always do are able to deduct it again. I think there is a certain, like if it's $500, I don't believe you can, but if it's like, if you hit a 
few thousand and I forget the threshold or 500 is nothing. We all hit. I know. We all hit the threshold. <laughs> That's why it's a little higher or it's a percentage of income, which I, I can't think of off the top of my head, but understandable. Uh, I know everyone loves filing taxes every year, so we're, we're still working on ours. Yeah. <laughs> but no, you can deduct everything and don't forget uh, medical mileage driven. So that's one, I, I think it's 55 cents a mile or something. That's one thing that was super helpful. Business. Although I know some people don't like doing this is turning on the Google, whatever you have on. So he Google Maps, uh, if you have an I account with Google, uh, Google timeline just keeps track of, if you don't mind, they keep track of everywhere you go. And anytime you're going to like the hospital doctor's visit or something, um, or say you have to go pick up medical supplies somewhere, just make sure that it's keeping uh, track on your timeline. So it, keeps the mileage for you. There are apps that I think you can kind of do like as an add on that will just tally or sum it all up. Um, it's usually like 20 to 30 days a year for us. So I just quickly go through and doesn't QuickBooks do it? QuickBooks does too. Uh, I'm just terrible at there's some there's like something on the app that you turn on, on that. when you start there the is um, yeah. He, he does all this stuff. He's he's a lot <laughs> better with like the apps and the the Googles <laughs> The Googs. Which is weird because I'm the one on the internet more. He's he does not do social media. No. So except for <laughs> what I force him to do. Um me Hi Patty. I've been excited to see you. Very supportive on all my videos. Um, <laughs> yeah, and sorry guys, we are uh, gonna be a little behind the comments because we like yes. to go through them all one by one. So this might be a long video. And then everything might get delayed, but we are gonna do our best <laughs> to say hi and uh, answer everybody's questions, so. Really quick while I'm okay. thinking about it, because I made a banner for this. No, I made a overlay. I just wanted to thank the members of the channel that are supporting me. So I wanted to put your names, hold on. Let me get rid of the comment here for a second. <laughs> okay, I and wanted to thank you guys. Oh, how do I, how do I have all these things up still? What? Hey, oh. sorry, we've got all four dogs behind us, oh. and Holly's very vocal. Um, all right, guys. Okay. <laughs> I think she scared herself yeah. out of her sleep. <laughs> That's all right, Hall. Okay. <laughs> oh, now they're all gonna come over and knock the uh, desk down and. Now just to her pillow. Anyways, what I was saying, thank you so much for supporting this channel. <laughs> Holly says thank you too. <laughs> Hi, Holly. I don't, can you see? You can see her nose. There she is. <laughs> oh, I'll keep her. <laughs> Why? When we adopted her, she was known uh, the age or whoever listed her says she's known for her howls and jowls, which she has lived up to for many, many years. Very vocal. So. Dixie is also very vocal on okay. every meeting I have. But no, Dixie really. makes it known. <laughs> but yeah, thank you to all the members and support yes. we get from everyone. It means a lot to us. And, and I, I know it means a lot to Mags too. I am planning a members only live stream just so it's like a little bit more intimate and a little less overwhelming, I guess. Because it can, you know, sometimes you get weird people on the yeah. comments, which is fine, fine. But um, I just wanted to do something that was just a little bit more intimate. And if you're not available on the day, totally fine. There will be a playback for it and we can talk about, you know what I should call it? Let's talk IB after dark. Oh, I like Share it. more of the stories that YouTube doesn't like. <laughs> Grab a glass of wine and join us in the after hours. That'll be fun. <laughs> okay, that's what we're gonna do. So the day that I'm looking at is, I think two weeks from now. Okay. Sunday, I check my calendar. Cool. Did you make sure I was free? I mean, do you want it? I, I <laughs> no, feel bad I because I don't want to take up every Sunday of yours if we do it. I've on been Sundays. sitting playing Xbox pretty much all weekend, it's been wonderful. But <laughs> okay, this is the date that I'm looking at. Hopefully, this works for the majority of you. But it'll be let's talk IBD after dark, but it's still sunny out. <laughs> yeah, it's like summer. Yeah, and we're not in. Nothing. I'll saw them this time of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to myself. Being uh, I do that a lot. You'll All never right. be lonely. That's what my yeah. dad always said. You'll never be lonely. <laughs> okay. So I did see a question about mosquitoes pop up, which not a fan of mosquitoes, although personally I hate ticks more, which I think have been more in 
They've been bad. And I recently learned that they're technically considered an arachnid and a parasite. They have no benefit to anything or anybody. So yeah, I, they are a form awful. of might. But we have a personal vendetta against them because of our one dog, Daisy. That's how she passed was Lyme disease. So we both. I feed them to my fish in the fish tank. They enjoy it. They do. You have one fish in that fish tank. He enjoys it. <laughs> a, a tetra, right? I, I need to restock. I was called a tetra. Yeah, we, the fish plague that struck many moons ago, but. I think we should get mollies because then they can have little baby. They're cute. Little baby fish. But now if mosquitoes haven't actually been terrible for us this year. We just had issues with ticks, I would yeah. say. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, sorry. I forgot to put it up. Um, well, you opened the door last night for a little bit and some mosquitoes got in. Oh, and that's I even why know. I'm a yeah. It's late today because of all the smoke. Yeah, Let me know I'm, if you guys have the smoke. Yeah, I think it's pretty much anyone east of the Mississippi and kind of north of like the Florida, Georgia, Louisiana area. They've been Dang. experiencing the smoke. So, yeah, second round for us. And apparently, uh, there will be a few more bouts of it this summer, I've been told or been reading. Well, so be I mean, fun. at least we're not living near it, but it, it, this one wasn't as bad. I would say the one that happened like two weeks ago, that. It was crazy it driving was home so the one day. It was like um, kind of, it was bad. And then as I was getting closer to the house, I'm just noticing the sun kind of vanishing and just a glow it, in the sky went. It was yeah. ominous. It's so weird. The sun turns like a red, orange. and Yeah. It's cool if it wasn't for what it's coming from, but. Yeah. Yeah. That was. And like the yeah. whole not being able to breathe part of it and like not being able to see yeah but other than that it's great <laughs> so now mosquitoes not awful we've had a few more the usual flies and yeah but ticks ticks this year have been worse hate them so, um hi cheryl. cheryl i'm gonna go through this bunch of highs hi ghost 105 recognize a SD. lot of these yes. names I, I see you a lot on my channel <laughs> um, let's see. We've got another question here. How does irrigation work for colostomy patients? So huh. what? Oh, I'm just reading the comment too with you. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> so I am not an expert by any means in colostomy care. I have seen way more ileostomies and I don't, I should have looked up the percentages of how many ileostomies versus colostomies. Uh, I irrigated one colostomy, I think as a nurse. And that person did wear an ostomy bag. They had a motility issue that it made it difficult for their intestines to work. So things were slow. I don't think it was slow because of their colostomy. I think it was slow because of their disorder. So, um, yeah, for irrigation for that, I'm trying to remember. I know that I had to put a red rubber catheter into the stoma. I have a question. In this context, what does irrigation mean? So some, I actually, I've never heard you that. know, my ostomy is just like, does it's, whatever the heck it wants. Because it's small. All the time. Things, so. Yeah. So with some colostomies, uh, your output's a lot slower. And some, some people with colostomies don't even wear a full bag. Huh. Like they can wear a patch. Okay. I don't have one. And I don't want to speak for somebody who has a colostomy. And, and you know, oh, I might be sharing okay, it now I'm kind of seeing it in this contact. Yeah. So to irrigate, you flush out. Yeah. Your output. Maybe reach out to Jerlene and see if she'd be helped. Um, yeah. Talk well, this topic thing a little is, better. Even, I don't think every colostomy patient does that, though. I think it all depends on how much, you know, you're working with and how fast your bowels are yeah. and stuff. Which, this summer, uh, this August, you were planning on doing some collaborations, I thought, right? Um, I have to reach out to people and see, yeah. because we're going to the UOAA conference, we are making a road trip out of it, so yeah. we are going to... <laughs> Multiple different areas. We'll be bringing everyone along. You'll see the uh, the adventures with us. So I'm so excited. Down in Houston. Well, yeah. So we're going to. It's going to be hot. <laughs> that I was kind of laughing at that. Who was I talking to? I think I was talking to my IV infusion nurse. Yeah. And she was asking me, like, what are you doing this summer? And I told her about the conference. And I was like, yeah, they're getting together a bunch of people with ostomies in the hottest place. Like, I hope. <laughs> I hope they have a clinic down there for us. I'm not a big fan food. of the heat and I don't do well in it, but <laughs> I'm sweating in our house right now. I should turn that Yeah, I've already been burnt like three times this summer and it's barely been hot yet. So <laughs> you need to wear more sunscreen. I do. I do. Um, <laughs> anyways, what was I saying? Oh, Houston for the conference. So we're going, we're going to be in, um, Savannah, Georgia. Yep. Clearwater, Florida. Is it my mom? Yep. 
I know um, if you're watching, you're not. She's not watching. No way. <laughs> no, she's not a, on a lot of YouTuber no. things. No. So. <laughs> um, New Orleans. Then yep. we're going to head to Houston for the conference. Yeah. And my best friend lives in Texas. So we are going to be seeing her. I think the day after the conference ends, she is the one that named my ostomy Leroy. And she is the <laughs> one that demanded to see it the very first day that I came back to school. So that'll be fun. And then Chattanooga. Yeah, it's, kind of, it's a halfway a point uh, between where we are in Houston. Just for be time conscious because it's going to be like two and a half weeks long or 14, 15 days. No, it's 12. Or 12. I actually just looked oh, it up I thought it was today. like over. Oh, no, I'm thinking of just including the. Yeah, my bad. And that yeah. was two and a half weeks, anyways. So that's. Listen to her, not me. <laughs> that is the. Um, that's the plan. I'm looking forward to it. And I get to yeah. speak twice. He speaks twice. <laughs> I'm speaking once. How does that work? I think I'm going to stick an ostomy bag on you. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's only fair. Temporary one. <laughs> um, let's see. Hello. Fran. Oh. Hi, Nancy. Nancy's on. <laughs> yep. Another familiar name. <laughs> I'm going to put up everybody's comment. I am saying hello to all of you. I think if I just said hello, 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 yep. you'd get irritated with me. Is that Courtney? Is that is that my Courtney? Hey, look. Uh, I can't really. I think it is. Oh, all right. Hi, Courtney. That might be my other best friend. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Raven, hi. Good to, to see, see you. you. Hello. Where are we hi at? again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like the fancy pink glove wave. Oh, it doesn't show it doesn't up on show. hand pink <laughs> waving. Like, what? So on mine, it's like a big pink hand that's waving, but I like that. It's StreamYard, so not everything, I guess, transfers. Yeah. Is that is that Courtney? How did you? I'll look real quick. I think that is her. I'm like looking at the uh, thumbnail, but it's really tiny. How did I deal with my ostomy on my wedding day? I didn't eat anything that whole day, so it wasn't very active. It was not because I was actively not eating. Uh, it was because I was so nervous. <laughs> no, different Courtney. It's hard to tell them from now. Oh my gosh, you look so similar to one of my best friends. It looked it looked like graduation from our college. It That's did, why I was yeah. like, oh my god, hey. But hey to you too. Um yeah, I didn't eat that whole day. It was just like a really nerve-wracking day. Not even because uh you wanted to eat, we just didn't even get a chance to eat. Yeah, no, I, it I was really just, didn't even eat. So if you didn't know, we got married in our barn. And that has been a whole a whole thing or bob. Um, construction got super duper delayed and just chaos. So the morning of our wedding, Zach and the groomsmen were all cleaning the barn. My dad was cleaning chairs because they were covered in dust. The drywall dust will clean the walls make great hair gel for me. I he didn't even shower the day of our wedding. I didn't know. I thought that. I did. You said you didn't. Nah, I might have used just like a wet wipe. That's just I, I shouted that was, morning. I did the morning. I'll tell you what, that was the most stressful day. And if I did it again, we would go to an island in yep. the middle of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> just us. <laughs> but it was it was a great day. It was a really great day. And it was. to see everybody come together and just make the wedding happen. Because everybody was like, uh, is this place gonna be done in time? I mean, me and the bridesmaids were moving like currently being stained tables yeah. by our construction crew we're moving them into place and getting stain all over our shirts so that's how our wedding day went but the ostomy behaved I um i don't think i emptied very often and i wore some high-waisted underwear that smoothed out but the way that my dress was oh, it no. kind of it was an a-line and it started to go out started to flare out right above my ostomy so no one would be able to and see. And your uh, day of wedding coordinator was also very helpful in understanding with the two. Oh I, my god, she I recall. Was, I didn't. I wasn't she was there amazing. for that. But well, I wasn't the when we were getting ready in the morning. I wasn't the only person with NAS to me like getting ready here. Um, so we started talking about it, and obviously, all my yeah. close friends know that I have one. So it was good. 
think a lot of people know it's you have one. to see you guys live together again. <laughs> I'm hoping nice. we can do this more often. It's just our schedule. Yeah, kind of... it's challenging at times. I mean, everyone's always busy. We, we know that. But yeah. we're no exception. But we do want to do this more and just kind of check in, say hi, and answer any questions and just yeah. be around. Howdy, everyone. Howdy, Hello. howdy. <laughs> What's up, my cat? Meow. Yeah. <laughs> this did not translate i apologize but i want to make sure that i i believe it's hello i'm just I'm, purely guessing let's assume it is hello uh, hello <laughs> um how am i feeling i am feeling pretty good i said you're doing good this weekend uh, all yeah all. well i started so i switched the electrolytes i'm drinking oh yeah yeah, so I think it was a user recommendation to try this one. Yeah, a few people did. So I yeah. we went to the store. I actually vlogged it, so you'll see that tomorrow. <laughs> uh, we went to the store and I got liquid IV, and I yeah. think that that's genuinely helping. I think the electrolyte counts in there, the yeah. milligrams and whatnot. Uh, they're a lot higher than what's in news, so I think that's making a big difference. And yeah. I'm going to have to drink a whole cup of it again because I'm sweating like crazy. Yeah. Our house does it. It's an old house and never had AC installed downstairs. So we just have it upstairs kind of dropping down. So it's it gets a little warm, especially with the sun. And it's, yeah. Well, yeah, we got the sun coming down here. Another window here. <laughs> um, let's see. Hi, Mary. Hello. Hello, all. Hello, hello. Oh, I think we're just now getting to when we went. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I know. I want to get everybody's comment up there. Yep. Hi, David. Indiana. Hi, Dave. Hello. I always like to see where everyone's Happy from, 4th too. Fourth of July. Yep. It's. Because we got a. Do you guys have any plans for the Fourth of July? We're not doing anything, are we? Uh, I mean, we're going down to see some family in the concert tomorrow, and then, yeah, Tuesday itself, we're probably just. Chilling. Well, we're, yeah. if we're going to this concert tomorrow, we'll be a little exhausted. So it's Tuesday, the actual fourth, we're probably just going to relax. And our one dog hates loud noises, so I have to keep her. We ha somebody nearby. England. Hello. <laughs> somebody nearby. Like, if you want to set off fireworks, go for it. I'm not here to. They weren't doing it well though. That's yeah, what you're getting. Like, like, make it. So we can see it, yeah. first of all. And second of all, they were popping them off starting around 2 p.m. And it was one. And one, then half an hour later, another one. one. Yeah. I'm like, do a show for us. <laughs> yeah, but now our one dog hates loud noises. Thunder. It's um, been a very fireworks. rough week for her. Yeah. She's just She's afraid to go outside right now. So I've been kind of coaxing her out, yeah. trying to get her... <laughs> Um, oh my gosh, I can hear you. Well, I'm really perfect. Honest. Now we're good. Now we, we know that you can hear us. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't been talking to ourselves. All right, I'm gonna try to get to some more questions. Um, hello, hello. I know I'm, I'm skipping Hi, over a few people. Greg's on. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> I got texted. That's one of Zach's friends. My friend too. <laughs> um, <laughs> we got a few more. You missed if, Florida. I know. I'm, I feel bad because I'm getting so behind. Hello, so we have Florida, Indiana. We'll be seeing you. Uh, England. No, Why I'm did that just go away? I think I saw some. If you have pain Carolina. with your stoma, please uh, call your surgeon, call your doctor. Yeah. You know, don't mess around with that. Okay. My friend, he is not allowed to drink beer. Why? I don't. Next. I couldn't tell you. Um, some people are fine with alcohol some people are not was that yeah if that was the doctor surgeon someone's recommendation i would defer that to them we i don't some, i mean some people say like beer because of the carbonation, carbonation it can cause issues like you're you know can blow up the bag um i don't really notice that what i noticed because we had a couple of beers last night one of them seems to be making my stomach kind of burn so i'm gonna avoid that one um it's really different for everybody and and just like look at what is the cause of you having an ostomy that that could be a telltale uh reason why too some people with crohn's disease don't do well with alcohol and that's why they avoid it um yeah i i'm not very helpful in that i'm sorry <laughs> i know hannah witten yes yep. she is lovely do i ever worry you do you ever worry zach Probably not about health stuff. Nah. <laughs> just me being crazy. She's a tough girl. She's uh, 
No, I, she doesn't worry me. Hello? I worry for her, but she doesn't worry me. Do you drink fluids? I don't know if I understand the question, but... I think possibly I if... fluids always. So, just yeah. like if my ostomy is blowing up? Yeah, just generally good advice. Fluids as much and frequently as possible is always helpful. Um, that's why you get your IVs every yeah. other week and... Yeah, now doing yeah, the liquid IV in addition to that and noon and everything else. So the one IV that Yeah, you got stuck and that's the one so that well. I was like it really hurt at first, and then we had to do another IV on my hand. The other IV was right there. There's the tiniest little spot that you can't even see. But then I had a nice little bruise from the one that hurt really bad. So yeah. at least I know myself the best. She said it was probably a good IV, and I was like, I don't think it is. And that bruise definitely it's a weird looking bruise and it's not even near where she inserted the IV. No, I don't know about that. You do bruise usually, unfortunately, I do. though. So I do. hello, hello. I feel bad I'm not looking at the camera. It's just the setup I have. <laughs> Texas um, PA. Hello. I have you guys passing here. I'll just need a place to crash. I have you guys and I'll just I don't know. Not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> Sorry, Don. <laughs> um, that's the thing about like comments on the internet. You can never read the like expression, the emotion. Yeah. Or, and also, we're running behind when we're answering these. So yeah, this apologies. Is from four oh eight p.m. It's four thirty one. Wow, already a half an hour. Thank you guys for being here with us. Does a stoma burst when you have drinks with carbonic acid? I think this is tied to the one, the beer question before and drinking oh. with gas. So I think it's just um, carbonation build up. I mean, and it everything. doesn't. I mean, it, no. gas will come out in the bag if it needs to. Yeah. Just, just similar to if you don't have an ostomy, just going through all phases of the GI tract, it just goes through There's a shorter period and no control with a yeah. stoma. They just can't yeah. control. Less control, shorter <laughs> time frame, and yeah. Frame. Interval. See, I can't edit that out. I know. Everybody's going to see that. <laughs> uh, hello. Rock Pink one. is awesome in concert. See? All right. So we do have to go see her sometime. Uh, she's still, I, I know. She's coming to, well, when I looked, it was a few I'm weeks just curious ago. if she's still like how she was maybe 10 years. I, I don't know how long oh, she's Oh, I been. think she's like flipping around doing her really? acrobatics and stuff, right? No, I just haven't heard I, of anything from her in a while. So. No, she's. And there's a whole tour, I think. I don't know. I don't so, keep yeah. up with these things. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll look into it. <laughs> Probably expensive. See, well, we've been saying it's a little bit smaller. Well, yeah. no, Blink 182 is not small. No big. Um, Should I go if my. Oh, I answered that before. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, if you have any health or That's, health issues, I, concerns, uh, we're probably not the best to answer or address it. But I, yeah, definitely uh, go to uh, see your doctor, hospital, or somebody if you're having issues. I put it in my description, but obviously live streaming, I don't know what's in my description, actually. Probably should have checked that. Um, <laughs> no medical advice. I can give you my experience and experiences I've had with either friends of mine or patients that I've had. But I am not giving out medical advice because, A, illegal on the internet. Yeah. B, I'm not a doctor. Yeah. I was a nurse. <laughs> Wait. Do that. It, oh, it just like, I think reloaded yeah. or something. I thought I lost my space or my spot. Put that up. Um, okay. Oh, this was back with the Texas. tax stuff. Oh, I, yeah. I'm, so there you go. I have no Casey. knowledge on this. No, neither. Sorry. <laughs> That's helpful advice, though. Uh, uh, yeah, I would say look into it if that's applicable to you. But unfortunately, we're not super familiar with that topic. Um, curious. You both do the Myers personality test. You both seem so similar. And what are your love languages? No idea. Uh, I'm there, there. unfamiliar with the <laughs> test. Uh, I think our personalities mesh very well. We've been together for a long time. Yeah. Uh, we could take a test, but I think uh, test of time kind of told us that. So, <laughs> um, and I'm unsure of the love languages, um, but I, I think it's like I've seen like videos where couples do it, and one person's like, "Mine is physical gifts," or "Mine is 
acts of service, right? Huh. I think that's what it is. New um, topic to me. Off give me oh, diamonds and jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I have no idea. How about Wendy's in an early night on the couch? If you're yes, the that's what I want. <laughs> you're not weird. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, Southern Maryland. Huh? We went well, to, uh, we met at Salisbury University. Yeah. So, Eastern Shore, so yeah, Southern Maryland, Poly Lake, Prince George's area, and Now, yeah. Probably yeah. heard of Salisbury, probably, you know, yeah. been across <laughs> the Bay Bridge. I think that was referring to the smoke. smoke. Yeah, and yeah, and a lot worse. Uh, mm -hmm. Michigan, Detroit, yeah. Gosh, this time around. Ooh, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's uh, recent. I saw Florida wow. had an uptick of that, and I shall be bringing off to put on. So I'm saying, move to Alaska. You don't have any really insects in like Barrow. We're north. not moving to Alaska for the 800th <laughs> time. I, I can't. Actually, it's nicer, but they bucks there. I've been put on the like. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Coast. Sorry, I'm just trying to get to the comments. Am I getting? No, I'm not getting anywhere near. We got comments still coming in, and this we is, are. I think this is 15 behind. The most comments. Yeah, thank you guys for all the interactivity. We're appreciating, and again, right. do apologize for a little behind getting to everybody, but hopefully, hello, still enjoying it. All I'm right, just... I'm looking for questions now. I feel bad. I don't want to skip over anybody's comment, but I will definitely go back and read through because I don't want to yeah. miss anybody's. But um, yes. <laughs> this yeah. is exhausting common with crows, 100%. I don't think I know. You don't absorb person. your nutrients, your fluids as well as um, if you have a full Your body's system, working so. all the time. His body's just resting. That's why you can yeah. do all the things. You know, mine's trying to figure out what's going on inside of it. It's fighting itself. So, so. yeah, that's yeah, very, very common, if not applicable to nearly everybody. With it. Can't say. There might be some people that don't have it, but I it's, personally have not met anybody that has not been yeah. tired, like excessively. If you can't tired. absorb all your nutrients and energy to give you energy, for lack of a better term, then yeah, unfortunately you're going to be fatigued. But you do well handling it. I know you have to take occasionally a nap in the day, but yeah, um, it helps. Thank you. Oh. Try athlete. Thank you. All right. We're trying to get lots Czech of comments. Republic, another Hello. country made it here. It's Hello. crazy people from all over. London. It's amazing. We've got three countries now in Hello. Europe. At least. <laughs> all right. Let me see. Oh, it's from, okay, this is a high school graduation. Ah, okay. Yeah, when we I, were talking, I saw that. So, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Different corny, but the you thumbnail very it's similar. very similar to the photo I think she has on her. She has it somewhere. Yeah. On some of her social media. Um, I'm trying to think the last time that I posted about intimacy. I don't remember what video that would have been. Mm -hmm. Um, but I will say yes, in the last since last fall, I've been very frustrated with it just because I've had it for 13 years. That's what I say to all the infusion nurses. They're like, so how long have you had your ostomy? And the way they say it, it sounds like they think I've only had it a year. I'm like, 13? I think it'll be 14 this year. Yeah, go on 11 with me and how's your next pain in the tush? Yeah. I think you're worse. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's frustrating when it's been consistent. It's 13 yeah. years and then all of a sudden my output picks up and we can't figure out why. And, um, it's frustrating it's when there's not an answer. Yeah, it's definitely improved. Like a lot. Last fall was rough and that's why I finally <laughs> went to a doctor and was like, yeah. I can't do this anymore. The IV fluids, I think recently have really been a big help and thankfully kind of tapering down a little bit on the quantity that you need, mm -hmm. it seems like. So yeah, that's definitely been an improvement. Yeah. Um, and like, I think changing my diet helped um, just like making more foods accessible because I was pescatarian. Well, we were pescatarian. Yeah. Uh, I think that helped with like weight gain and stuff. And 
yeah, I don't know if that's what slowed my ostomy down a little bit. I couldn't tell you. I take stuff like lipiramide, lamotol. Uh, sometimes it works really well for me and sometimes it doesn't. Honestly, so. that's why it's uh, just the unfortunate thing. There's still even with all the years that people have been studying the field, there's still a lot of unknowns with it. And that's why it's great that you it's, brought the channel together to bring the community because sometimes there is no one that has a good answer and being able to interact with somebody on here, maybe their personal experiences is more relevant or can be applicable to your situation or someone yeah. else's that doctor also, or someone else hasn't heard of. Just realizing that healthcare is so inconsistent <laughs> and I hate that it's that way, but like every doctor can have a different answer for you. One can be a little more right than the other. I, you know, it's just what I've experienced. I've had really great experiences in healthcare. I've had bad experiences. I've seen it even when I was working as a nurse. I saw the inconsistencies between yeah. surgeons and doctors and nurses and all of that. And I wish there was a way to make it more streamlined so every patient is getting the same thing. Um, but I don't know if that will ever be reached because every patient's so complicated and different. Yeah. Um, what? Will we ever yes. tell about the barn? We've been discussing and debating <laughs> when we are going to do so, but yes, Guys. We, it's been a, <laughs> an adventure and uh, unfortunately not, we're still working on it. We're still going for it. It's just been uh, a, a lot of ago, headaches. We looked up when we last live streamed. I know a year ago, it was August that we yeah. last live streamed. And we said, yeah, like we're going to tell you soon. And I feel really bad like that we keep saying soon that. Soon has been extended. <laughs> it's just, I, I don't want YouTube to like, flag this video if I curse because no, that's I'm not gonna curse but I want to there are some really knuckleheads that's not a strong enough word there are some really terrible people out there um these people have creeped on my channel too so if they're watching hey <laughs> yeah, just, give them a pleasant emoji they have done some really <laughs> just local people yeah. have done some really awful things to us but we won't go into it too much here we're gonna save I it because know. it's a yeah a frustrating topic in many ways for us it's still it's been learning beneficial we've done a lot come a long way with it but it's still very frustrating uh he just the whole nature home. of the field and what is acceptable and allowed from other people in there so we're probably gonna well, look at maybe doing another channel or something separate from this one to kind of remove the two topics and we will I want to make sure that direct this, everyone over to that one once we start. Yeah, this needs more. to stay as just a place where either people get information about their health issues or a place to escape it where we just live our lives beyond the health issues. Yeah. And two at separate one, communities. Yeah, and at one point the barn was like really big in our lives because I wanted to share what was going on beyond my disease. And we were showing the construction and stuff, but people just a few individuals acted very inappropriately sent my channel around our neighborhood and to businesses in the area and i don't know if they were trying to like out, out me with my illness or what people acted really inappropriate so i'm going to make sure there's separation but we are getting real um close to sharing the all the details because we just had We've been advised to not <laughs> talk about it, but after three, four years, however long it's been, it gets really old four not F. sharing. Um, and you can, I mean, you guys <laughs> can tell that I get worked up about it. I, it's just, so no one should ever be handling treated. it. Yeah. Yeah. It, he has handled everything with it for the last probably. Same things. Yeah. You, you have same <laughs> things for like the last year and a half though. Yeah. Um, probably more than that. Zach took everything over because part of my stress that was real, like part of the reason I went on anxiety medications, really the main reason I went on it uh, was things dealing with the barn. Um, obviously my illness can play a little bit into that, but it just wasn't good. It wasn't good. So yes, we will share and I but will tell we'll you see. where we'll, yeah, <laughs> well, I will tell you when and where to look for when we share. But at this moment, we're still like, Waiting on some things, waiting on some meetings, waiting to see what happens. Another time. Yeah, I feel Another bad. Place. I like get worked up about it and Zach's like, calm down. But it's just, yeah. it's, it's been our lives for far too long. So, um, 
Let's see. Another question about that. I'll tie it in. My mom has a colostomy for 33 years. She said she can't eat with an ostomy. Is this true? Again, it really... Uh, um, like the fluid diets or like um, you can't eat with an ostomy. Like, isn't that when you just have to have fluids? Uh, I'm oh, like of, TPN? Yes, thank you. I don't know if that's... Maybe that's what's going to I mean, there are, so, people have to avoid different types of foods and stuff. Yeah. It really depends on the illness of why a person Inter gets an ostomy. And do they have like nutritional health advisors specific to ostomies, or people from the ostomy community, or IBD you know, general, just I've seen, GI related? I've community? seen different GI nutritionists come up, um, different IBD nutritionists come up online. I have not seen any ostomy specific. Interesting. There is a book, um, I'm trying to remember the name of it now, but it's for short bowel syndrome. And it is super helpful to those of us who have higher output ostomies. They have a lot of diet recommendations in this book. The book is free. At least it was a few years ago when I got it. Um, I will have to try to find that and I will put it in like. Just tie this question to a, one that's get from the same person. It's colon cancer that calls this. So I don't colon know if that cancer. Okay. changes or kind of alters. I, I don't know. I don't know why they wouldn't be able to eat like anything at all. Um, I wouldn't expect that, but. Seems perhaps a little unusual, but I don't think completely uncommon. As you said, TPN is. There can be a lot of people so can many different feel. things going on. Like. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to answer that. Um, I live two hours from Houston and I'm making plans to come in. Yay! Woohoo! Shake Zach's hand. Here it is. <laughs> Look forward if to that in a few the, weeks. Yeah, if you're going to the conference. Sorry, I keep Monday microphone. Mic stand. <laughs> His long legs. I don't have that problem. Hi, Dixie. Um, but yeah, we'll be there. We'll say hi to anyone that's there. We see and we're looking forward to it. And yeah, I'm speaking twice. Yeah, we'll, we're going to speak about relationships, which yep. I don't know if we're qualified to do that, but we're going to do it. It's going to be great. I will tell you that Zach is a much better speaker than I am. I am not a great public speaker, so if you come to see our little talk, <laughs> I will do my best, but I get shaky and my voice like cuts out. <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be fine because I know I'm going to be in a group of friends. So. It will be. It's a good community to be it, around. It is. And they have a lot of fun at this conference, so it's That's, gonna be good. It it's was, a lot of planning, a lot of at night, you know. Yeah, <laughs> we have fun. I love your videos. I do not have IBD, but I do have an ostomy. Um, I have only had my ostomy for sixteen months, and you give me hope that there will be a new normal. Glad to hear. Now, and she's big and or good inspiration. Uh, I don't know about that. Yeah. I just a day will come where it won't feel like your attention's one hundred percent on your ostomy. Like it's I just don't the normal part think, of your life. Yeah, I don't I think about my ostomy probably as much as you think about going to the bathroom. Actually, you probably think more about going to the bathroom. Depends what I eat. I just <laughs> shared that on the internet to how many people? 169 yeah, people. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if I can talk about my bells, you can too. Hello. From Ohio. Another state joining in. Hello, hello. I joined your channel because my mom is facing possible colostomy surgery after losing a part of her colon. I'm wanting to support her as best as I can. Could I ask her any tips or advice? Post-surgery or like so, leading up to a tips or advice you can think of? If she does wind up getting the surgery beforehand, go to the different manufacturers' websites. So Convitec, Coloplast, Hollister. Um, I think Hollister has the easiest free sample order system. Um, there's New Hope, which is spelled N-U-Hope. There's, uh, I think SciMed is still around. Anyways, all these different ostomy bag manufacturers or ostomy accessory manufacturers provide free samples. Yep. Get all the free samples. <laughs> Go for it. Works get best, a, yeah. best, feels best. And get get even just a feel. Your mom can place the ostomy bag on her stomach without having the stoma. You could put a little bit of oatmeal in there, like I did in the one video, <laughs> just to get the feeling of what it's like to yeah. wear an ostomy. Um that that is like my number one tip. I tell people just order all the samples because they give them for free. Yeah. Um, and a lot of the companies are really generous with it too. And also 
not just to give you an idea of what you're going to like after surgery, but also just have a little extra, you know, in your supply closet. So after surgery, when you're still learning how things work, you might experience more leaks than you will later on. Uh, you'll have backup supplies. Exactly. So that that would be my my tip for that. Um, let's see. I like it. More boring questions. Yeah. Oh, what? Again, hey. we're, we're just going to kind of skim through them. They'll all be I know, answered I... another channel at another time. We'll be very vocal. Oh, Ukrainian. That. Hello. Sorry, we we uh, are limited in our foreign languages to yes. none. <laughs> well, a little bit here and there, but hello from Massachusetts. Hello, Lou Colleen. Happy that you're feeling well. Thank you again, Ghost. Um, liquid IV is great. I have high output ileostomy, and it helps immense, immensely. From the limited two days of uh, trial yeah. and error with what, it, it's if you use liquid IV, what's your favorite flavor? Because I got watermelon, and, and I the, like it. Clinking and clanking, tip and tapping is one of our dogs. Hello, Just Bruno. Would around. you like to come say hello? <laughs> oh, of course. Oh, can he, I got his tail. <laughs> yeah, watch your tail. I man. was going to say, if you can get his face up there, keep through your nose. You can kind of see him. My, my comment's in the way. Hold on. Yeah, hello. Oh, Are you going to lift him? Bring him up to say hi. This is Bruno. He's, he's our oldest boy. We've had him since puppyhood. Yep. And now Holly's pushing her now way everyone in. Everyone else is jealous. Everyone's like, hey! <laughs> we I have mean, a lot of dogs. We do. We got a lot of them. We do. Um, <laughs> Hi, guys. I'll give you all pets. All right. How do you keep up with hydration during a busy day? I find myself struggling if I'm out of the house all day. I bring my little green cup or my purple cup that yeah. has a funny straw. The one that you, I just washed it. Yeah. I, would, I would grab it otherwise. Um, I want to say that's like a 32 ounce cup, maybe. I don't know how large it is, but I bring that if I'm leaving the house. I always try to bring it. This is mine. He, yeah, he has a propane tank as his water bottle. Uh, 100 um, some ounces. That's what I do is I just <laughs> make sure to bring some sort of. Yeah, always have like a like, to go cup where just like a reusable tumbler or something and yeah. noon tablets, the liquid IV or any of that stuff to go. I feel like noon tablets might be easier since they kind of dissolve and that's, mix themselves themselves. Yeah, that's why I like them. They're so easy, but they are not as good apparently. Well, ha just have the cup with you. Just make sure there is some sort of cup beside you. You're not going to drink it if it's not near you. And like, I'm lazy. I am super lazy. So if it's yeah. not next to me, I'm not going to drink. If it's right next to me with whatever I'm doing, I'll drink it. Yeah. Which I say that. Yeah, I just always have water on hand. Yeah, right now I'm just drinking water to mix it up. Mix it up too. I found somebody recommended just drinking herbal tea. Yeah. And I found that really useful too. Yeah, we drink um, a lot that of That actually tea. helped a ton. Might actually have some after this. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I have to ask, do you have trouble with wheat and milk with Crohn's? I do not. I personally have not found that. Um, I know a lot of people talk about being gluten-free, lactose intolerant, all that stuff. Yeah. Knock on wood. <laughs> no bar. You probably heard that pretty loud. Mike's <laughs> right there. Um, I don't have issues with it. And yeah. I'm very happy because it's, I love all gluten. Yeah, it varies person from person, honestly. Like I I drink a lot of milk for, you don't drink anywhere near as much milk no. as me, but no, I don't yeah, I don't really have I don't drink milk a lot. I have it in cereal occasionally. Um I probably like cheese and stuff. Yeah. Guys, guys, Can you guys. stop? Every dog does not need to be on camera. Guys, well and it's too hot. Yeah. <laughs> It's like four big heating pads all trying to sit on you at once. They are. Dexico, lay down. Lay down. Sure. <laughs> See, I have to talk sternly to her, so I don't want you to think I'm being mean to her, but she doesn't listen otherwise. She's very lay down. pushy. Yeah. Especially recently. She's, she's been spoiled. a lot more with all your other meetings. and. She thinks I'm talking to her. She's jealous. In every meeting. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hello from Long Island. Hello. My cat hates the 4th of July. Understandable. Yep. And Greg yep. recommends fish tanks for staying hydrated. I'm not even going to. No. no. <laughs> you know what? That's a story for Let's Talk IBD After Dark. That is. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drink out of a fish tank. No. We know someone who did. Um, hello from California. <laughs> 
Not Heather. Not Heather. <laughs> no, not Heather. You're good. We know you're smart. <laughs> um, yeah. My dog. Yeah. See, that's the thing is Nanner's never had issues. He just and then shakes suddenly profusely, she did. Like, it's sad, but yep. like the thunderstorm the other day, she was just like shaking at my feet and yeah, just... We usually put her in the bathroom, play music, or just run like a dehumidifier or humidifier, one of the two, or just kind of give some background ambient noise and just something to help comfort her. But yep. uh, yeah. Um, from Delco, I don't have IBD, but I have a silent chronic illness. How do you cope as married couples, as a married couple during the bad days? We actually don't have a lot of bad days. If um. I think that we find humor in all of the negativity. So like yeah. when I throw up in a bowl, like I throw up my dinner. Oh, we they, just, they mean, oh I was I was thinking like when we were like arguing or something, I was like we don't really argue. Well I <laughs> no, I beat him up and days. I win. Yeah. That's how we no. <laughs> uh yeah. Now. No, like I if you watch SpongeBob, I always think of like that one episode when he's you know what I'm talking anchor about? Anchor arms. Yeah, anchor arms, but he shows his arms and they like, that's me. The wiggle arms. Um, but no, yeah, just kind of make humor just, of it. It's uh, you have to it's laugh. It's part it's of like, life. It's not the best part of life, but just yeah. kind of. <laughs> you like make, when when I throw up, he makes fun of the noise I make because I you make be, fun of the noise you make. I do. It's so loud and obnoxious. It's genetic. My just make light of it. Sound. It's like this. It's the best awful. thing you can do about most things, and yeah, uh, I don't. I don't know. We just get along. I don't, that's not like good advice, but we get along. Yeah. We like being in each other's company. I don't think I've ever been sick of you. Well, you've probably been sick of me, but no. tough. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Hello. From Maine. Hello, hello. What else? Oh. <laughs> Hi, Rhode Island. Island. We're getting the whole Northeast yeah. here. Yeah. Cat in the closet on the fourth, not a bad yep. idea. That's basically what Natters will be doing. She, she bathroom. likes the upstairs bathroom. That's where she goes. Like and... tight, dark, confined space. Yep. Uh, How do you keep your house so clean with your very challenging? They think our house is clean. It is clean. It's <laughs> this room's clean. That's what I'm showing you. Today. The Shark Vax Roombas I. Robotic vacuums helped a lot. Um, our one dog sheds nonstop, profusely, year round, no matter what. I'd just say buzzer, but Maggie doesn't want to buzz her. Not it's like Holly. Oh, if you know what Holly looks like, please like, tell me if you think we should a buzz, buzz her. Cop, but like maybe a three or four number, like a equivalent. I don't no, know. No. <laughs> but just brush Here's them a lot outside or baths. Uh, bathing uh, very sheddy or sh dogs that shed a lot helps immensely. However, it can clog your drain, so just be cognizant of that. Or... Well, we have that brush that, like, yeah, I think it's meant for horses. It's and it, like it's originally was I think for horses, but you can use it for dogs too. They have the horse ones. I think are a lot larger. Yeah, it's like but, a little. Yeah. We have a couple different ones. We do that, but <laughs> and I'm messier you're always, than the dogs. Also, no, here's the thing: is you're always going to be catching up on the messes. Yeah. It is a rare day that a dog is not thrown up on the carpet. Um, I don't know, <laughs> left puff balls of fur. I mean, our dining room, if you saw our floor right now, there's dust bunnies everywhere yeah. from Dixie and Holly fur. Low res it's, videos helps too. Don't want a 4K because then it kind of shows yeah, all I think what it is, just <laughs> yeah. like houses are meant to be lived in. You're not a, it's not going to be a model house unless yeah. you're staging it or selling it or not well, living in it. The so. only thing you see online is people with their perfectly clean houses. And I'm like, they're not. My house has never been that. They're just showing the perfectly clean room at this time, and everything else is stored in yeah. the other room. And I do that too. But you yeah. guys are only seeing the clean parts. <laughs> we're like, but I manipulate the camera in a way where you're not seeing the pile. Of yeah. Food. Like there's behind the lawn or behind the uh, dining room table, I have two giant laundry baskets filled with clothes I've put away for like two weeks now. Yeah. So. But it's like dogs, uh, kids, or Zex. Like they all make a mess of the house and. He opened up a soda the other night after it I just exploded everywhere. Black cherry soda. <laughs> and I just sat there covering soda and I was like, I wasn't expecting it. I just kind of twisted it. Yes. Yeah. Um, no, I'm, I'm probably worse than the dogs. I don't even, I, I yeah. don't know how I do it, but, but I'm good at it. A shark robot vacuum. I've never tried the Roomba, but we got, we have three of the shark robot vacuums. Yeah. They work really well. 
they get then, stuck on so many things. That was the only issue. Yeah. But they do clean up the fur very well. Yep. And then actually their their shark vacuum, the regular vacuum. Yeah. We had a Dyson. Don't go for Dyson. Yeah. Don't do it because that thing was like four or five hundred dollars. It didn't God, last very long. So many it issues. Didn't, yeah, it didn't get the fur up. Yeah. I got a hundred and fifty dollar shark vacuum, just a regular one too, to you know get like the stairs and stuff. That thing sucks up so much fur. You itchy, nice, buddy. But um, but congratulations yes. on the new. I four-legged friend. I love labs because Bruno is a lab. Part lab. He's. I just think they're the best. Although, <laughs> as puppies, maybe I wouldn't get a lab puppy again because Bruno was a little crazy. It destroyed everything. Ate everything. But literally ate. Much better now. Everything. We lost a couch, a recliner, blinds. Yeah. You don't need to know that. You're just kind of. He's got a left puppy. Hopefully it's a nice, calm little puppy. Is that Alexa? Yeah. We need to take out our trash. She's According to Alexa. Two days early, but. Uh, oh, she is. It's, not, it's Sunday. Yeah, Whatever. Kitten's also nervous. Hello, Hello from, from Vienna. Vienna. He does. <laughs> Unless if it's uh, another, not, not from Italy, but another city elsewhere. That could also be Vienna. Geography is not my thing, so please don't judge me too hard on that. Yeah, I love maps and cartography, et cetera. All right, let me go ahead. Uh, best decision I've made. I, like, maybe I'm just biased because I've had my ostomy too long, but I don't know how you people with your colons, I really don't know how they just walk around like that. Having it's to tough. go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so yeah. Tolerate it. which I think so, is common. I mean, I feel like for anyone, alcohol or anything is never going to be. Yeah, it's not great for you. No, <laughs> it, it's not really ever a good usage for it or benefit to anybody. Um, so I, especially if you have anything that kind of you're more sensitive to food, drinks, or yeah. et cetera, then yeah, I can imagine it not <laughs> working or as well. You've progressively gotten further away. I, I know. Holly is like laying right at, lying right at my feet and kind of shoving me back. You'll be off camera in a minute. Um, not, my voice carries. Oh, my gosh. It's so spirit. loud. Sorry. It's so dang loud. Um, <laughs> let's see. Before my port, I told – actually, I should just read it where it's large and not the tiny print. I don't know why I'm doing that. Before my port, I told gently nurses and anesthesiologists were to try and insert IVs. Um, finally, after 13 tries, holy cow, wow. in two days, they thought a port would be a good idea. idea. Yeah, danger shot. Yes. Um, uh. I am learning slowly, just keep when I keep getting my IVs at the clinic, I am learning slowly to be a little bit louder about where the IVs work better as... You know, I get IVs that don't work as well, and I'm, like, thinking that they're not going to work well, they're not going to take, and it causes pain, and it's just, yeah. it's not fun. I'm getting a little bit louder, but I, I also want to be respectful to the nurse. I want them to know that I trust their, their you know, thoughts about it because they're the ones that are placing IVs all day, and it's, I try to balance it. Yeah, just communicate. Communication always helps. Maggie, are you still a nurse or a teacher? <laughs> I am still on registered. I am. Yeah, I actually had I had a family member be like, "So you let your nursing like license expire?" And like, no, we're keeping that sucker active. Yeah. That was hard to get. No, I. So I'm not a nurse. I don't work as a nurse anymore. Um, I do YouTube full time. Actually, I should I should tell them that. Well, My I name. mean, you still yeah that that is exciting, but you also do consulting work for a lot of um, pharmaceutical healthcare companies. And Everything stems from YouTube, though. It does, but you still you still I, I guess advocacy work um, through, through consulting, some marketing side, some just more educational. But yeah, some is some winds up being public stuff like videos that you see, and some is just yeah. but like, really I guess consulting and stuff. The channel um, is your main main full-time career now which is why we always appreciate the support it i really helps a lot means a lot and so that is something i should share with you guys as of last week 
I am, I have like a, what do you call it? Influencer management company, yeah. which is crazy. I was She's got an agent. So, no, <laughs> no. It's, I mean, that's what it's an agency it's and they're actually, um, two lovely ladies that are in the illness space. Um, and mm -hmm. they created a company specifically for people like myself who have an illness and share their lives online. Um, it's called redefined agency and I just signed with them. So they've already been so helpful. <laughs> Yeah. I get a lot of emails. Up. Yeah. So if you ever wonder why Zach does this in my videos, he stabbed himself in the thumb and now yeah, my thumb doesn't can't. work. <laughs> um, but yes, I have a management company. I was looking for one for a while and I'm in that awkward, like I'm not, I'm not huge online. Um, you know, but we've got a really cool community here and you guys are so supportive. I'm really, I really truly am grateful um, and so when I found them, I was like, this is perfect. Cause it's such a, like, it's a, it's, it's I don't want to say area. weird. Yeah. It's very specific. What we, what we do here. And when I was looking at management companies, I was like, they're not going to know anything about <laughs> my illness or like, fortunately, this one really seems to they've know been in the community. Well. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I'm very excited about that and they're helping me with, things like sponsors in front of videos. So I appreciate when you guys watch that or like click on the links. Um, you get the congrats and thanks on the bottom of the chat. So you'll you. see them when we get okay, there. I know. <laughs> I'm so delayed. I'm very excited about it. They've been very lovely. Yeah. And so hopefully, you know, we'll see what happens from it. Um, but I just, it helps because this is, this is what I do full time now. Yep. Um, yeah, I spend a lot of time editing videos. It's my part-time gig. That's why I'm here occasionally. He's my lovely assistant. I like that face. <laughs> I, I'm back and forth because I can't see the face I'm making if I'm looking at the camera, but then if I see it. I know. Uh, you know what I could do? Hold on. No, it's fine. Leave it. It's I was going to say, because I can flip my screen. Hold on. You guys are going to get a close-up. Oh, it's not on. Oh, no. There it goes. Oh, there you it's go. actually a little helpful. Is that better? Yeah. Okay. That is. Cause now that's, that's the right way for you. Um, 10 32 AM in Germany. Another European oh, joining us. Thank you. I'm glad it's not in the middle of the night. I know these live streams, it's hard to find a time where everybody in the world is ready to watch. It should be nighttime there. There, but uh, <laughs> it's fine. Did it, did you mean PM? That's no worries. Wait, because now I'm thinking about it because I used to work with yeah, people in London and they were five Yeah, they're five hours ahead, I think. Yeah. Um, Destiny, <laughs> hey. <laughs> I recognize your names. You don't yeah. think I do, I do. <laughs> I recognize a lot of them too. Um Pink and her daughter do a Aww. few songs. So that's what I was telling that's you awesome. when they you did, did that little music video. I love that song. Yeah. I forget what it's called. Like Sunshine or something, something or other. Lines, yeah. That's cute. Um, okay, let's see. Already answered that. Yes, very smoky. <sighs> it is. Smoky. It's a lot better today. We have like a little kind of valley area out this window where like fog, <laughs> haze, anything gets trapped if it is occurring that day. And mm -hmm. looking at our yard, it is very not... like this. I forgot the term they used. Uh, we got it undulating. No, hmm? something else. <laughs> Minnesota. Hi from Minnesota. There's a lot of dog fur flying around. I hope you guys can't see it. Unique suggestions for making connections with other IBDers, ostomates. Facebook. Facebook is Facebook a great one. Groups, um, Facebook. I would say Facebook ostomy groups. I'm part of a lot of them. Yeah. And it is such a nice community where people ask questions. And I often see people getting on there saying, hey, I'm from such and such an area. Anybody else near me? Um, so people make connections that way too. That is like, I think the best way. Um, yeah, that's what I would say. What about conferences? I, I thought about like making a private Facebook group, but my fear is that <laughs> I see other groups where certain members post, you know, Hey, my post wound up being public when I wanted it to be anonymous yeah. or, you know, a family member saw it. I don't want that to happen to anybody. And I'm so afraid that I would like not know how to get the settings right for it to make sure everybody can just stay, you know, in the group, your, your post stays in the group. Nobody from your 
real life has to yeah. see it. So. And real quick, thank you, Lucy. She just gave you a, she has to go. Oh, but thank you. Yeah. Have a great oh, night, morning, afternoon, you. Uh, where you are, but thank Can you I again. <laughs> oh, I guess it shows up. It's at the top there, I think. I I'm afraid if I click on it. I don't know. Oh. Hold on. Uh, just I, to give a quick thank you. Oh, I, I know I'm, you don't want to lose I where you, you are. Can see, oh, here we go. Yeah. Thank you. I know there you gotta go. go so got thank it. you again. Um, it means a now lot. I have to scroll back up. <laughs> but while you scroll, and you, you said Facebook groups, what about like the conference? Do you think that's an ideal place for meeting people uh, like mine in the yes. community? Or it, the conference is a good time just to be a regular person. Yeah, if you get what I mean. Like it's even though it's not what. Oh, I'd, try, I'd say further up. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really bad at But this. yeah, so Facebook groups are helpful, oh, wait, useful, and then likewise, um, the conference. And you can come say hi to us if you're down in Houston this August something. I, yeah, something and yet. they have like a dinner event. And what's the other one we have? Uh, in... I didn't tell them about that oh. one yet. I don't know if I, Sorry. I don't think I like cannot share about it. We'll keep that one a surprise uh, yeah, for later I, on. I will be going to another conference. It is not for patients, mm -hmm. but... It's very exciting, and I will have a very cool role in it. I'm working <laughs> with uh, another patient, a good friend of mine, and I can't wait to share that. But that's not till 2024. Yep. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. You'll be hearing about it in very time. soon. I think August. we use that too much, but soon. <laughs> I know Ooh, mystical mysteries. I'm not sure. Uh, 109 degrees in Phoenix. Not a fan. How do you? How do you? I don't I like it above 80. Survive? I, you know what's funny is I've been out in the desert, like uh, I think it was Death Valley or around that area when we took a road trip when I was younger, and it or it might have been in Arizona. I, I don't remember, but it definitely was over like one hundred five, one ten range, and it is it's dry heat. Dry heat at that heat is still hot, and I'm sure Janice uh, can vouch for me there. It's hot. Yeah. <laughs> I I don't know how people survive in dry heat, but then I've heard people that live in dry heat don't know how to survive in humid. Like human I heat? still would take dry heat, and no. I think for me personally, it's preferable. And I think it's no. also like skin. Like I have more oily skin naturally. You have drier, so it kind of. I will dry <laughs> out my whole body. I mean, I get dehydrated dry and so fast in dry air. <laughs> was it? I'm trying to remember. Is L.A. Is that area kind of dry? It is. Yep. Okay, because I always feel terrible out there. Yeah, they have like I'm... no humidity. Ugh. Sunny and seventy every day. Sorry, I'm an East Coast person. <laughs> All the way, all the way. Um, I've been following you since Salisbury. Oh wow! Holy cow! That's been a while. Because yeah, he graduated in <laughs> 2015, and I was 26. Thank you, and hopefully you've been enjoying the journey with us. It's been a journey for us as well, and uh, yeah, 10 plus years ago, never would have expected anything from today. So when someone asks what you're going to be doing in five to 10 years, you have no idea because no, idea. no one knows. <laughs> open-ended question and it's probably better that way it keeps things exciting it does and i think just like with our own experiences it really made me realize um don't be devastated if life doesn't work out the way that you thought because so many other good things yeah can come that you just have no idea you have no idea that like <laughs> these amazing things will happen to you and i keep trying to remind myself of that with everything we've gone through our whole relationship really we've yeah. just seen like things fall into place things work out you just have to trust the process <laughs> slow there at times soon yeah it comes sometimes soon, it feels like as we've been like, using <laughs> yeah i think uh, other opportunities open up though yeah. and you just just go with the flow and just try to do the best that you can i say that and then i like flip out about things not working out zach's yeah. the calm one <laughs> Um, let's see. Have you ever thought of changing from Humerita into Neo? No. Um, reason is I really like being able to take care of my medication at home. It's super quick to do a self-injection for me. Um, and also I've been successful in Humerita. I have had no signs of IBD, so I don't want to change from, you know, something that works to something I don't know. I don't know. Um, I think in Tibio is a little bit more specific for, like GI tract, because Humira is used for other things too, like rheumatoid arthritis, yeah, psoriasis, psoriasis. 
Um, but, but it works and it works great for you. And like you said, every yeah. other two weeks or so, right? Yeah, two weeks. Yeah. I, is it Tivio the one that's coming out with a self injection now? Uh, I think they've been working on it. I'm not sure. But I will say, <laughs> if I were to go to another medication and it had to be an infusion, I would probably want Intivio okay. because I used to give Intivio. I used to give all the different. Intivio. Is that the commercial? Probably. Yeah, the I used to I used to run the different infusions on my floor, and Intivio was the fastest. You could run it over half an hour. So, Remicade was two hours. Oof. <laughs> yeah. um, I although I think you know I worked in pediatrics, so it's probably different for adults. Um. Oh, you're fine. My brain never works. It's better that way. I'm witness to that. <laughs> uh, let's see. I wish they would give me a port. They can only use my left arm since I had breast cancer in my right breast. And it's just taken out of my right neck. My arm is shot. I'm very sorry. Um, I'm trying to think of maybe some online people that have ports. I think Molly Ali Ostomy has a port. I'm trying to think of like resources of maybe people have shared about their port experience. Yeah, I'm not getting that. Um, well, you're, I'm the one that's on, you, you know on the Instagram. No song. Um, it's a. I'm curious if you've had the conversation with your doctor about potentially getting a port. Yeah. I know. I know that looks different for everybody, and I get asked all the time why I don't get a port or a pick line. I've had. Is, can you see my scar? No, the. It's too Sorry. bright in here. I have a little central line scar here, and I got a pick line scar on my arm. Um, all right, let's see. Since February. Um, Thank you, Pool Life. Uh, you okay. time. Wait, so Zach was trying to teach me the rock on. What am I doing? That's I love this you. Like That's rock on. That's. I hope I'm not doing anything inappropriate. Some, if I am, I'm sorry. Yeah, hit the waves. <laughs> Some more oh. nor. Nor nor. <laughs> Abbreviation for gnarly. Really? Really? <laughs> um, hello, new to your channel. I think this is the very first time I've seen you live. That is because we have not been live since August. It's been a while. We we want to do this more, and we just, or Mag just got the new setup, and this is making it a lot easier. So I love that I can have the comments yeah. pop up here. We'll be getting better at this. Don't worry. Yes. <laughs> um, my mom has a colostomy for 33 years now. You were very inspirational with your health issues. Stay healthy to you both. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Sandra. <laughs> Southern um, Oregon. Hi. Do you ever feel embarrassed because my mom does? She's had hers for 33 years. So, uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> I think just, I've had it so long and this is my normal. Um, when I first got my ostomy, it was very much like a hush hush thing there weren't people online talking about it this was 2009 there, there were very few people at least yeah um you know my dad didn't really want me to share anything about crohn's disease with my friends because he was so worried that i would be made fun of and i had that concern but then i was like i just feel so lonely <laughs> it just like i don't know anybody with this and as soon as i started talking about it I felt like I finally found my role in life. I finally got my stride. Yeah, and very few people sense. are going to be like, will care or make no, fun of you I or think, anything for it. And the people that do suck. So it, they do. And I <laughs> like, think, you know, it's not usually people that anyone wants to be around. So yeah. if you can't just, yeah, warm, like, I, I just, the way that I present it to people is this is normal to me. Even if it's not normal to yeah. you, I'll make it normal to you. And I have noticed that people react like it's normal as long as I treat it normal. They're like, oh, you just, you work a little bit differently than me, but that doesn't mean yeah. you're weird or unusual. Everybody's got something going on, whether they talk about it or not. They do. And the more you talk about it and share about it, the more comfortable makes other people. So they got another donation. These are times. Oh, Cheryl. Thank you. Right Sorry, we're, we're jumping. I'm trying to I'm lose my spot again. It's 437 was the time you were at. So thank oh, you, thank Cheryl. You. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Population diabetes. Uh, I 
have been better. Very happy to hear you're doing better I, as yes, well. Yes, that's awesome. But no, thank, thank you, you for that again. Very kind. Um, okay, 437. Yep. <laughs> I'm still well, scrolling. We're doing our I'm best. <laughs> I thought that this one might be longer than our past. Yeah. I had a feeling, but I was, you know. A little further up. Sorry. Well, now I've highlighted all of the words on my screen. Right there. My besties, Southern Oregon. And right there is where we're That's at. That's where we're at. Okay. Wow, 108 in California 108. also. Disgusting. That is. <laughs> um, I feel most autoimmune diseases cause yep. exhaustion. Yep. Heck yeah. Hello. Hey, we'll Texas. be in your area soon. We will be. Um. Yeah, there's a lot of issues I feel like people have with IVs and the decision to go to a port or something. And it's I guess, like it's really risk versus benefit because yeah. there are risks to ports and central lines and all of that. You know, it's, it's direct access to your heart. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I've i had kids in the hospital that just get so sick from different, you know, infections, getting septic. And I was so fearful of that, especially you know, I was supposed to go home with Bicline and be on TPN for, you know, however long it took me to get better. That was when I was a freshman in high school. And I remember being in that training session with my dad and him just shaking, just like, I'm so afraid yeah. I'm going to get her sick. Um, so. But on that same note, they are so helpful in situations <laughs> when you need frequent access and yeah. they can take a lot of the stress away. And... Having that access, like easy access, you can do IV antibiotics. Yeah. So it's like, like what's said, the worst? It's the yeah. pros, cons, <laughs> risks, benefit trade off. So, yeah. And I know with the port, you can de access it and stuff. Um, I've also, I've had friends that like had trouble getting their ports accessed or they, you know, yeah. get out of place or there's an infection in it. I just, so just, yeah, yeah. kind of evaluate it's if it's a, the benefits that way, the cons or the costs there for yourself. But, Hello again, another Germany person. Awesome. Um, <laughs> hi, just wanted to extend my utmost new gratitude as a new Ostomate. Welcome to the club. You're one of the cool ones now. It's a cool one. It's a cool <laughs> club to be in. <laughs> Are you jealous? I'm part Some, of it. Sometimes. <laughs> I, I live vicariously through you. I'm part of it. I guess we'll include you. Um, despite if not, decades, I, I can just. No, you're you're welcome. <laughs> um, despite decades since diagnosis and years of an active flare and complications, had no idea about stoma life yeah. until. Hold on. Oh, yeah. part two. Everybody's cool. I came across your online presence. You two have been my chief source of inspiration, knowledge, and hope. Thank you, Julie. Thank you. <laughs> um, We're happy to hear. Oh as well, Heather. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'll curse for Barn. you. Please go for it. <laughs> we will. I have a very colorful language when it comes to the barn. I won't share online because YouTube will get mad at me. <laughs> That's after after dark. Yeah. I have levels of darkness for my <laughs> my lives. <laughs> Um, I said pot stickers. I was like, we just had those the other night. We did. They were delicious. That's why. Yeah. Pot yeah, sticks. I, very some different. Some of them I've seen. You can <laughs> you can see them a little bit. Oh. Healthcare is a nightmare. Yeah. I agree. It. I yeah. Agree. I don't experience as much as Mags does, but I'm there with her and I experience it through I her. Mean, you've and you've seen some of it. You've seen. Like, yeah, it's the frustration of things like some of my surgeries. Yeah. Oh, it's covered. You're good. And then I get a five hundred dollar bill because the anesthesiologist was not. In network, but somehow they work at the hospital. Yeah. That was my sinus surgery. I'm still mad about that. Um, is it a year? Yeah, last August. Yeah. Hard to believe. Wow. So three times anemia. Oh my gosh. What? Three is very low. You want to be like eleven Nine. to twelve oh. for hemoglobin. Oh wow. Um. I hope that they gave you blood immediately. That's crazy. But I am glad that you're here to share your story. That is like kicking butt. Interesting, crazy, and unfortunate. Keep but yeah, I'm glad they caught that, figured it out maybe a little later than they should have. But the lowest, the lowest I've ever seen on my floor, yeah. I think, was a five. Wow. 
Wow. Okay. And that was like the doctor's word. I, I don't know too much on the scale, but it does not sound good, unfortunately. Yeah. Um. Okay, let's see. Why are they <laughs> creeping? Because people are creeping. People don't have lives. Yeah. Does insurance companies help out with ostomy supplies? Yes. I can be a pain going through if or talking to them for hours trying to make sure that they'll cover or approve it as I've <laughs> we've had a deal and but otherwise yeah. they they can help or there's other companies. Um, what's another company that assists that's not necessarily insurance, but kind of like a middleman between the two or am I mistaken? Like a patient advocate? Maybe, or there's one other I thought that you'd utilized. For ostomy? Yeah. I don't know. No, maybe um, not. They, I mean, I I know a couple of online creators that have difficulty getting their stuff covered or they yeah. can't get it covered. And I'm like, that makes no sense to me. Yeah. You can't walk around with your stone and just hanging out. Um, they should. They should. And if they're not, then talk to your doctor to see if there's a way that they could write a letter of necessity or, you know, work yeah. their magic. But, um, yeah, they do cover a majority of it for me. Thank goodness. <laughs> How long were you pescatarian? Why did I stop? Years. I was a pescatarian. We were both because he did it with me. I saw a dog fur in my shirt in the camera. <laughs> uh, eight years. Okay. And then, yeah, because we started. College. End of college. Well, now, hold on. 2016, I think, is when. Yeah. Maybe not eight years. Seven Almost eight years. Seven ish. Seven. Okay. Um, yeah, so. I got sick last fall. My ostomy went kind of crazy for the first time yeah. in its lifetime. And I was like, you know what? I think that I am not, I think I'm limiting my diet too much at this time. Yeah. And so I decided to open it up and I gained 10 pounds. Yeah. I actually gained weight and I feel better. I feel like I have more strength to me. Um, I even like, the vlog that I'm posting tomorrow, the clips yeah. that you took of me in the grocery store, I was like, your arms have fat to them for the first time. <laughs> yeah. Like, you look healthy, <laughs> yeah. um, which I'm thrilled about. I I want a few more pounds on me. I would be very happy with that. But, yeah, that's why I did it. Um, I did not go pescatarian for IBD reasons. I did it because of – Just personal choice. Just, I like animals. Yeah. It sounds kind of goofy. But yeah, it, I really like animals and uh, I would be vegetarian if I could. I wouldn't go vegan, but I'd be vegetarian yeah. if I was able to do it. But at this time, I'm feeling good. Every steak that I have, I say thank you. That sounds really stupid, but I actually yeah. do that. <laughs> um, okay. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yes, they are. <laughs> um, let's see. See, some of these are just you guys Picking chatting with each other. I love it. Yeah, because we're slow to get through to this. So if people want to chat with one another, yes, we encourage and welcome it. Hi, okay. Cassie. Up another, this is another one. The waves. Yeah. They're showing up on this, just not on the stream yard for whatever reason. I'd have to yeah. scroll up, but. All right. Thank you. Yes, thank you again, Ghost. And that was, again, tying back to a prior one. Yeah, I'm just trying to make sure these pop 43 up. 43 years, you can never tell. Off days, it needs tons of rest. Yeah. Same, I same take, for Mag Cheryl, really. <laughs> I take a lot of days off. A lot of resting You have days. to. I mean, if it makes you feel better, you're going to need to. So. Yeah. I'm going to look. Okay. Where really quick. So I think this was about the short bowel syndrome book. So sorry. I am going to Google it really quick and see if I can find it. Short Bell Syndrome book. It was, I'm trying. Wait, is it the oh, one wait, that you have over there? Probably. I could grab it if you want. Is it over there? I think I've seen it. Um, I haven't been able to find it. So me... hold on. It, short Bell Syndrome uh, dot com. I think this is it. Yes. Okay. Can I put this as a link in my. Oh, no, you don't have it over here. I don't Sorry. Have it there. I thought you did. Oh, I can post a comment on StreamYards too. Let me pin it for you. So you, if you guys have an ostomy that is a little bit crazy, like mine is, I'm going to pin the comment. 
No, I'm not going to pin the comment. I can only ban myself on StreamYard, so I'm not going <laughs> to do that. Uh, if you go to this website, they have two options, managing a short bowel and a kid's guide to short bowel syndrome. They have different um, food groups in there that are really good for people who have high output yeah. to help slow it down. Um, obviously, I don't have short bowel syndrome. I have a lot of my small intestine, but the same foods worked for me. Stuff like oatmeal and rice and starchy things. Um, but it goes into a lot of detail. And it also goes into the science behind yeah. how your bowel adapts. And it's super duper cool if you're interested in that stuff. But if you're even just interested in the diet stuff, very helpful. Yeah. It is a free book. That is very cool. Yep. So yeah, check out. I was getting this mixed up. I'm gonna leave it up just for a couple more minutes, <laughs> just well, a few more seconds. So if you want to grab it real quick, and uh, I'll go back in and I'll add it to the description in case people are interested. Now we got to find our spot again. I know. Thank you guys for being patient. Sorry about this. Hey guys, cat. I remember that ghost. We're right, right there. The yep. Perfect. Okay. Yep. Another person for the book. Yep. So, yeah, just check out that link below. It was shared at 5.30 would be approximately the timestamp. Shortbowelsyndrome.com slash sign up dash up. Um, I have not had any help with my ostomy, with ostomy nutritionists. I can't eat. Is so, the book? yeah, yep. the book again. Hopefully it helps you guys out. Thank you, ghost. Seeing my GI tomorrow, I made a list of questions. I have to do that because I get nervous. Yep, exactly what happens to me. Um, I don't know why I get nervous. I don't think that I should at this point in life, but I still get very nervous and I have to write stuff down or I just won't ask. Um, I'll either forget it or I'll just be like, Oh, you're going to think I'm weird. Have me ask. <laughs> well, I, for most of my appointments now, I think I go by oh, myself. Yeah. He goes to stuff that's more like surgery related, but thankfully knock on wood, I haven't had any of that don't knock too loud because the dogs are gonna bark yeah a lot of wood they think somebody's at the door <laughs> how many times have i done that in a video yeah. uh coloplast has been good to me yeah uh, so i used coloplast for like i don't know at least a year and i had really horrible skin um if you go back a couple years on my channel you can see how bad my skin got and i think I was allergic to coloplast flanges. Uh, I'm not going to say for sure, uh, but once I started using Flonase on my skin, that calmed it down. Yeah. Uh, it is a steroid, so you got to be careful with that. But I haven't had any issues since. But yeah, I was using coloplast products and they helped. Yeah. No, they didn't. Oh, no, the Flonase. Sorry. Oh, the Flonase. Yeah. yeah. No, coloplast. I like the bag's beautiful design. I think that they're really well made. My skin just. Do yeah. not want it. Um, like the much. Thank you, Raven. I have dealt with colon issues since 2000. Had two surgeries where they took part of my colon still, out twice and got diagnosed with gastroparesis, but still no ostomy. Keep rocking it. Yeah. Keep rocking it. <laughs> if you need one in the future, you know where to come. <laughs> I celebrated last May. I'm an Congratulations. Me and I'm glad. happy I'm living. Awesome. I'm glad you're feeling better, Ghost. Hi. We are doing well. We're doing well. <laughs> uh, we watched the oatmeal video together and it really turned. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> I was like, I don't know how that video is going to go over because I feel like it's really goofy and I don't know how helpful it was, but it was fun to film. Thank you. Great Audrey. to see you in here too. Can you write your pain out of a my current pain? Zero. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing good today. Varies day from day, but yeah. No, I haven't had a lot of pain recently. I've had like a little stomach acidiness. Yeah. But that even that one, two out of ten, I don't know. <laughs> Nothing um, severe or major. Nothing like your kidney failing or I think that was even with all this stuff I've had, the kidney pain was the worst. Yeah. That was just Bad. when your kidney can't drain. Bad. 
Oh my God. Yeah, I remember that was not fun. I thought I was having blockages. Like I'd be on my couch over here trying to stretch my side out and like, I wound up calling out of work so many times because of that. Turns out I had kidney problems. Um, thank you. <laughs> thank you again. Watermelon is great, not fun. That's lemon. what you got, watermelon. See, and he, I you said, wanted, you I like lemon, lemon, lime. I know I said watermelon, and that's what we ended up getting. Well, it's for me. It's not for you. God, I he, said. He'll take a, you know, a noon every now and then. Yeah. He'll partake. I've been recommending it to everybody. They're great. Um, it's great if you're feeling dehydrated or just dry and crispy. If you <laughs> partake in the devil's nectar. That sounds to it's. Am I saying, is that referring to the wrong thing? Alcohol. Drinking. <laughs> That's what I'm going for. What's, what's the devil's nectar? Oh, it's kind of that, but it could be referred to as other things. Kind of. <laughs> I think I should be the blonde one. <laughs> <laughs> if you drink alcohol, um, get yourself some electrolytes. That's yep. for our friends. I'm like, hey, it'll help with your hangover. <laughs> but you didn't hear it from me. Um, hello. Kiersey. Thank you. Thank you, Kiersey. And welcome. Another European country. You like strawberry. Yes. Okay. okay. Lemon lime. I, See, we got another room for lemon lime. Got it. Not alone. See, I've seen more than one person say that the lemon lime or like lemonade ones go through you faster. Same. I have noticed that too. I've noticed it just with lemonade. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to be something in it. Maybe the lemons. Come on. I drink. Very good. My voice just died. It happens. <clears throat> <I gotta clears throat> Sorry. Drink 129 ounces a day and still get IV fluids. I love water or homemade sun tea. Sun tea? What's that? Find out. Sounds good. <laughs> um, I recently had my colon removed and it has been two months and I almost died. It was terrible. My vitals were unstable and had 10 IVs blown. Lots of different fluids. I'm thankful I'm still here. It's some people uh, go through these surgeries and they're planned and it's all smooth sailing. And then some people, you know, complications, a little bit issues. of an emergency situation. Thankfully doing better. I don't know why my camera just went out. That's okay. it's fine. You sure? Yeah. I, just leave it. Leave it. Oh, there it goes. I just have to flip it. It, it <laughs> times out. Strawberry is wonderful. I forgot. <laughs> I, I think I'm going to get strawberry next. Although I do like the watermelon and then Actually, in a good variety. I'm surprised. Yeah. I think noon has more flavors, but um, yeah. How is Nanners doing? She's good. Wonderful. She's good. <laughs> I don't know what happened to her before. Um, oh, right. Her random yeah, so, issue that she had. Yeah, it's it was nothing. Like, we, well, I think this is my theory. This is my theory. We oh. would put her with Bruno in our laundry room when we would leave the house. And they would just, you know, be the two of them loose. We didn't create anybody. Yeah. And I thought about it and I was like, maybe Bruno, like, gets rambunctious and playful. And he does. He does. And he's twice her size. Yeah. So we also have a little um, window sill there that the dogs can jump up and look out the window. Yeah, and I'm like, off of it and landed on her. And that's what I was thinking. So yeah. then we actually got a big crate. <laughs> that we, we've never been able to uh, crate Bruno because he just does not like yeah. crates. He breaks out of them. But well, this one works. If you want a good crate recommendation, we it's massive. Though. Slash jail cell. Yeah, it's huge. But it's nice. He has plenty of room in there, at least. He's not a big fan of it, but. Yeah. So yeah. we put him in there and we tried putting him in there by himself. He did not like that. And now Nanners is in the room with so him. So now we put Nanners in the room. She walks around loose while Bruno is in the crate. So at least he has his buddy. Yeah. But he can't jump on her. Yep. I'm hoping that that solves the issue with Nanners. But she's been good. She's she's laying under the desk right she's now. She's got her under the desk pillow she's on. So she's very happy and doing yeah. great. Yeah. Um, let's see. I'm going to Question. When you had yours out, were there complications? They were supposed to do it robotically. Um, so with my colon, there were thankfully no complications at all. Yep. They did do it laparoscopically. Um, I have a couple of newer scars from that, like a little, it's like a little T on my belly. Um, no complications with that surgery. It was, 
I think it went as well as it, it could. Did. Yeah. They they said there was a lot of scar tissue and stuff, but yeah, they got that sucker out, closed her up. The only thing that I had trouble with was the incision on my bottom healing. That took about a year yeah. fully to to heal. Um, it stopped draining after about six months, though. Something I probably can talk about at the conference. Yeah, you were the one looking up there. Changing, changing <laughs> my butt dressing. <laughs> Staring into oblivion. Yeah, but there was... No, I helped. I <laughs> had my... The reason I have an ostomy um, was because I went in for an intestinal resection. That's all it was supposed to be. And uh, it did not go well. Yeah. It wound up bursting inside of me. And that's why I wound up getting my ostomy. And then I just never went back to get it reversed. And my colon continued to decline. So um let's see <laughs> oh. <laughs> thank you sandra uh let's see hand pink or the wavy hands um i think sorry i'm like pulling up someone's conversation here <laughs> oh panicky doctors huh if they're panicky, they shouldn't show it to you. Yeah. We'll <laughs> Fake your confidence. Um, have you ever considered Grandview for your IV fluids? That should be a lot closer. So actually, I, think... uh, I found out that where I go, I I don't hide where I go to the hospital, but I also don't say it just because I like my doctors and I don't want, I, I, I'm the one putting myself on the internet, not them. Um, but they are putting a clinic closer in Warrington. Oh, yeah. I, I, I keep meaning to Google it to see when they're going to be opening. opening and uh, I haven't done that yet. But apparently they're going to be putting one in Warrington that's going yeah. to have an IV clinic as well. So I would probably switch over to that one. Just, it's just down That'll be the closest the road. one for us. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but the one and I go to Wegmans to when I'm there. That's true. Uh, I have UC and I don't yep. have an ostomy. I don't drink a lot. I drink more. Yes. Fluids help fluids everybody. Are, yeah, fluids are good for everyone. Especially in the I summer when personally it's hot. think everybody <laughs> should drink electrolytes, but yeah. It's um, not a bit. <laughs> oh, people, yeah. Sorry. Uh, does that get jealous of how fast you can be in and out of the bathroom? And do you miss using the loo like normies? <laughs> No, I don't. I don't miss it. And do you get jealous of my time? No, I just catch up on the news. I I used to be so well read, <laughs> and I'm not anymore. Just pros and cons. Smokes. <laughs> um. Do you think a service dog would be a good idea to help with medical issues? Depend. I mean, they can sometimes like know your triggers and be able to detect their sense. I'm not super versed in that, but for me, I'm like looking at my situation and I I follow a couple of people like Mary Fry Life uh, and her service dog Ollie. Um, I'm trying to think for me how that would be helpful, and I think honestly, what I find helpful with animals is is reducing anxiety. That's the only thing that I would think to use that for. Um, also, I have four dogs, and I <laughs> we're biased. I I love dogs. I don't know how a service dog would do with four. Like they're trained, but they're not. You know what I mean? Like they're not professionally trained. They're uh -huh. they can they listen pretty well, and they come when we call them. But does anybody have a service dog with like regular dogs? Also, the cost. That's a good question. They're expensive. Um, my hope is just uh, right now is rescue dogs. That's I'm. Uh, we always encourage that. Please adopt, <laughs> adopt dogs. I just saw um, what's it called? Homeward Bound, I think, is the the rescue in New Jersey, and they have a lot of. They have so many dogs, so many animals right now that need adopting because they're just completely full. I mean, they're like fuller than full. Um, I actually have an IBD friend that works there and yep. um, she was one of the first IBD friends that I ever had. And so if you're in New Jersey area or surrounding area and you're looking for an animal friend, homeward bound, could use some help or even yeah. foster. Um, that's the struggle is a lot of dogs need like single 
homes to be a single like dog. a single yeah. dog and obviously we don't have that and i yeah. can't provide that um yeah and i would definitely foster fail every <laughs> freaking time uh i have a hard time getting them to approve fluids i'm glad I, you have a fluid video going up soon because there's a lot of questions on that it already so went up I thought this Do was, you not watch my channel? Oh, I was thinking of no, I was thinking of the <laughs> shopping one yesterday. Oh, yeah. that'll go it's tomorrow. It's fluid related. So, yeah, I find it interesting how different doctors are. Like, I knew one that just was like, you cannot rely on fluids with an ostomy. You just need to, you need to learn how to drink enough. I'm like, some that doesn't work for some people. Yeah. Um, thankfully, that was not my experience. Thankfully, the doctor that I talked to, yeah, um, he's actually. I, I like want to say who it is because he's active on social media. I nah. but I also he's active. Like I know we've been at conferences and stuff. You could find him, I'm sure. <laughs> you can find him. He's in the Philadelphia area. Yep. And he's a lovely person, and he helped me get fluids. Um, that's all I'm gonna say. He's very nice. <laughs> thank you from Colorado. Hello, thank, thank you. you. Hello from Seattle. We've got the hand purple blue piece. <laughs> I need to see it on here because I'm just like picturing it in my head. What does that look like? It I'm surprised that StreamYard doesn't. Uh... Right there. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Oh, they got all sorts of emojis. Okay. Oh, we still got a lot of chats. I know. Sure. I made my own little <laughs> emojis for members. And I bet that really doesn't show up on no. StreamYards. I bet that looks kind of weird. Okay, let's see. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, service dog of oh, some again, more so internal people, chat. <laughs> yeah, I never thought of a service dog for Crohn's or ostomies. I mean, I guess depending on the severity of your situation, yeah. I just, I don't want to like, Yeah. I feel like they're far and few between, right? I really don't know the, how that works. I, I'm, I'm a newbie to that. What toilet paper do you use? Oh, I use, <laughs> I like Charmin Ultra Soft, <laughs> but um, I actually get it on Amazon and I get the Ultra Soft Presto yeah. on Amazon. I think that works the best. Charmin started to be a little like dusty, not dusty. Oh, I like, know. Like it was leaving residue particles. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know. But it, there's a word that I'm looking for. Shavings? Like pilling? No. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Presto doesn't do that, though. It's like a very clean toilet paper. He just smacked his head into the table. Buddy, be careful. Uh, <laughs> hello? From Ambler. Very close yeah. by. Let's see. Oh, I'm getting... Can we stop with the growls, Holly? We get it. You're here. Bruno's allowed to be there, too. I don't know what this... Oh, oh! you just want to push the microphone now. She's like... Right, excuse closer, attention. at least. Holly. She's yes. staring at us. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. I have agency. Yeah. I'm very excited. Congratulations, again. That is exciting. Hello. Hi, Sandra. Uh, Congrats thank to the you. agency. Yeah. Thank you. Getting back to the... <laughs> I use wheelchair smoke board. I have. I have. I've not heard of that. Is it? I don't want to guess what it is, but I feel like I might be able to guess what it is. Um, yeah, if you want to add that to the comments, if you're still with us, Lillian. Uh, let me look it up. I want to see it real quick because I feel like oh. it's like an electrical stimulator or something, but I feel like I might be off at the same time. Um. Oh, no, no, no. A penicostomy. I, so I actually became, when what I was said. a nurse, uh, I became <laughs> like the special nurse on the floor because we barely saw them. But when we did, um, I was the nurse that would take those patients because I got training on it. I'm not obviously an expert, but I. You're aware of it. I'm aware of it. <laughs> More like, than I am. I, I and all that. that. Um, Interesting. Yeah. Last since I had surgery. Last 
So 2023, so only a few months, or is it the May beforehand? I think it was uh, May beforehand, 2022. Oh, then you just celebrated your one year anniversary. Yeah, let's scoot up. Sorry. Oh, sorry. It's PM <laughs> for the joke. That's what I thought. No. <laughs> I thought it was. I thought it was nighttime in Germany. Uh, Do it. Um. So it's easier than going to the hospital every day. I will say it was <laughs> the stress and commuting and yeah, working nursing, on your time. I wound up leaving uh, inpatient nursing because of my colectomy surgery. Yep. Um. Just because I. I talked about this on a recent video and people got very riled up about it and they're like, oh my God, you should like contact a lawyer. So I was only working flex. I had dropped my time so much because I could feel myself getting sicker. Yeah. I went from 40 hours to 36 to 20 yeah. to flex, which meant I only worked, I think, 32 hours every eight weeks. And when you're flex at the hospital, you don't have the ability to do um, FMLA because you have to work a certain amount of hours. I believe it's 1,200 hours you have to work per year yeah. for your employer. And so I didn't qualify for that. And so when they said, hey, how long do you think you're going to have to be away from us? Do you think it's going to be under eight weeks? We can give you eight weeks off. And I was like, honestly, I don't know. And as it turns out, I don't think I could have gone back after eight weeks. My incision was still it was bad it was leaking it yeah. was like draining a lot of fluid and i had to get uh silver nitrate done on it to open it back yep. up to get it to heat it was like a whole thing um so yes i i sort of left what oh just don't come did you say werewolf yeah, what? you said silver i said let's not a werewolf kills werewolves <laughs> <laughs> Show anyway, a little bit now. Sorry. Uh, but I actually went, I became a telehealth nurse for a startup company. Yep. Um, and then that company actually is no longer in business. They don't exist anymore, unfortunately. Yep. Um, but that kind of gave me, that company was related to ostomies and I got to meet a lot of other professional ostomy patients through it. And I've made a lot of friends. Um, now you do this pretty much full time. Well, yeah, yeah full time. Kind of like a transition. Thing. Again, you don't know where you're going to be in five, I, three, two years, and it just one door open, another one closed, one open, and yeah. here you are. And I think the other thing about it is I've always really liked making YouTube videos. When you're good I at was, it. yeah, when I was a teenager, I wanted to make videos, and I didn't make them about Crohn's disease because I wasn't talking online about it yet. But um, I made different videos, and I really enjoyed it, and I just like the creativity of it um yeah so uh join two things that i enjoy <laughs> cats that I interesting ah, did not know that very cool it doesn't make sense but just didn't know that interesting so a long time ago growing up we were going to i think we had a dog or somebody's yeah it was with my brother and my mom they had a dog that had ibd oh wow but it did not, I don't think it survived. It's, it's a lot harder for animals. Yeah. Generally use not a -M. Oh, <laughs> that makes sense. Gotcha. Like 1800 or yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, so we're, we're going to one tomorrow. We're seeing falling in reverse again, but they are the headliner. We might try to do one more during the summer if we can, but we do have a pretty packed schedule and then, my, August is busy. In September, my friend's taking me to see Billy Joel in uh, Madison Square Garden, so I'm actually looking forward to that to a lot. Yep. He got us very nice seats and for one of his final concerts. So I know some people, like my mom is very jealous of me for this, but I'm looking forward to seeing him as well. And tentatively, we have some obscure plans uh, if we follow through with oh, it. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm not going to tell you about uh, that yet. But possibly going international for one. So Yeah. Um was I going to say? I just lost my train of thought. Busy so summer, rain. concerts. It is oh, yeah. Soon. And then September, we have a couple weddings. Yeah. Um, yeah, we do, actually. Which, if Greg's watching this, you're Still. one of them. <laughs> see you there. Um, see, hello. Very interesting post. Hopefully in a good Thank way. Thank you, Arthur. Hello. Emma. Uh, we finally got the effect from the fires. Nova Scotia fires on the east coast of Canada. 
it's crazy how yeah. far they are traveling. Um, I, that was one of the weird things when I worked for a company in California and I traveled out there the very first time they had a TV news station on and they were showing the wildfires and how people were having to evacuate yeah. people in the office were like, yeah, my neighborhood's like one over and we're getting worried. We have to evacuate. And I found it so weird. So now when we're getting like the smoke it's and stuff, it's nowhere near as bad here. Though, no, say, no, we're, no. Not get, we're just getting the but smoke, but not the fire. We, really. We don't get that here though. We don't get. No. So it's, it's sort of a strange experience to have this on yeah. the East. I remember coast. you said California asking if LA was dry or no humidity. And that's the reason why it's like, aren't they getting rain now? Didn't everybody flip flop? Uh, they All got our a, weather's exchanged. Some. <laughs> I don't know. Don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, are there any other illnesses that require ostomies beside Crohn's? Yes. There are so many different reasons people get ostomies, different cancers, yeah. different motility disorders. Sometimes it's um, short term. Like it's common if you have a severe traumatic injury from say a car accident or similar, yeah. they might have to temporarily put you or provide, create an ostomy for you. And then it'll be reversed kind of shortly thereafter. But it yeah, just it's, yeah. Um, I, when I worked as a nurse, uh, we saw kids that had it from Hirschsprungs. I think that was probably the most common, um, different genetic mutations I saw. Yeah. And then Crohn's and also <laughs> Clitus. Um, okay. Let's see. Have you tried any natural therapies like food supplements? Okay. So I feel like I can, at this point in my life, <laughs> What's that? Yes, I have tried medical marijuana. <laughs> I oh. feel like I can say it now because I'm not working as a nurse. That was a big fear of mine. Um, yes, I I did try. I did medical marijuana after my proctocolectomy. It was extremely helpful with the pain. Uh, I don't use it anymore, but I did have a card for about a year. Is that um, what MMJ stands for? Yeah, medical marijuana. What's the J? It's the J in marijuana. The silent J. You not know how to spell it? <laughs> oh, I just know that. So, <laughs> yes, I did do that. I found it extremely helpful. Um, I don't do it anymore because I don't feel like I need it. But as for food and supplements and stuff, other than like daily vitamins, just kind of changing my diet as I need with Crohn's, although I, I feel like I'm pretty good with my diet. When I feel my stomach acidity going up, I eat yep. not crazy foods. That's really. <laughs> you learn, you know what yeah, you can have, much, can't have, and just kind of. Yeah, I haven't done anything. Um, I'm not opposed to it, though. Yeah. I my mentality about this is holistic approach. Whatever helps you. Whatever the best works, and for, works you, for you. Go for yeah. it. Do it. Um, but yes, I did do medical marijuana. <laughs> I just like didn't want to share it online because with nursing like yeah hope they understand the laws are kind of weird with it um remicade failed me yeah. too yeah i i know people that failed all the medications it's rough <laughs> oh well this one's gotta be interesting it's the glasses i saw that earlier um I am so behind. I know we might have to pick up some of these I a little faster. Feel bad. Okay, let me try to get through. Because some people are, I know, I feel bad they've left out, but I know I feel really bad. I want to put everybody's comment on here. Here, eighty-eight me... in Albuquerque. Yeah, it's hot. It's still there. Okay, <laughs> let me see. I'm looking for questions. Do you think that Crohn's affects a man's body image worse than a woman? I used to date someone with Crohn's. We actually just talked about that the other night and just kind of. I So I, if you didn't know this, one of my first boyfriends, which really like helped me, I guess, get out there with my ostomy, uh, was a Crohn's disease patient, pretty severe Crohn's, and he had an ostomy. And um, a friend introduced us and it made me realize that I didn't give a second thought about his ostomy. So he probably wasn't really yeah. caring about mine. <laughs> um, I think... I don't, I, I don't know if it affects body image. I really think it depends on the person. Some people just don't, don't care. Yeah. And some people will. Uh, <laughs> I think, I think more with men, it might be being perceived as masculine when 
it's hard to put on muscle and, and, mm. you know, stuff like that. Um, I don't know. Yeah. For me, it was like, I just feel like a tiny, I feel like a child with an adult brain. That's how I felt. <laughs> um, I feel like I'm finally coming into a point of <laughs> Not really. <laughs> but like, I felt like I had the body of a child. Um, not so much anymore. I feel like I'm finally coming into myself. Yeah. It only took 30 freaking years. Oklahoma. Um, thank you. Let me see if I can. South Dakota. I am looking for questions because I want to make sure that I get as many yeah. as <laughs> possible. I think some are just people chatting with each other. Love it. Love it. Um, yeah, we're trying to get caught up. Oh, we're, we're almost caught up. I no, would say less toilet paper. Um, I And I also think that just you'll get into your routine. And I'm going to do a shout out here for something else people could try or use. When I was in Japan, it worked very well. I was just using bidets. Might be a little difficult for, uh, well. Me? Yeah. How would I use one? Just that wouldn't do anything for me. Lie over the toilet. No, I, I'm just I'm saying not do that. it's not. It's for different people, but no, I feel like that's also an alternative for some people that works very well too. I don't know if you're referring to ostomy or Crohn's, but for again, Crohn's that's why I wasn't disease, sure. That was not one everyone of my... has ostomies. No, I know that's or or just GI illness or yeah. I don't know. I don't know what you're working with, but um, it'd be for, challenging with for an ostomy. Crohn's. I definitely struggle with that feeling just because of the symptoms I was having, and actually, the ostomy gave me freedom from that and made me feel clean. So. Can you sleep on your belly? You don't really do I, that. I don't do it a lot. I typically sleep on my back or side. I think in general, it's just bad for anybody to really, well, maybe some exceptions. I've always read or heard that it's not ideal to sleep on your stomach in general. Oh, um, I have no idea. I, at least I thought that. Uh, I forgot the rationale why. It's just how your organs inside kind of lie when you're lying in that position. My organs are all over the place in there. Okay? They have they three left. Yeah, pretty much. Um, <laughs> I I can sleep on my belly and my body will wake itself up if my yeah. bag gets bigger, but I don't often sleep on my belly. So yeah. Uh, Personal preferences as a lot of <laughs> times it is. Did I scare somebody from a pick line? Please do not be scared. No. Because you get so much training and just pay attention to that training. Take notes. When you're getting one, ask all the questions. Don't be afraid to ask the questions. Have you done a video or no? You can always do a video on that to kind Maybe of. Maybe I should. I have more That's experience caring for other people with picks than I do with myself. I had all of my central lines in the hospital, um, so somebody else was doing this care for it. But yeah. I have done. I could not tell you how many dressing changes, and <laughs> I've removed picks before. Yeah. I've set up tpn oh my god yeah. i've set up so much tpn but yeah actually if anyone ever has like comments or more in-depth topics that you want to hear about just uh put a chat yeah, in the comments so we can go back look at it later and i can, Max can if always, anybody wants we, me to do a a, a pick slash yeah. uh, pick slash central <laughs> line video i am happy to do that yeah um Looking for questions. <laughs> what else do we have here? Oh, oh my gosh, what happened? <laughs> Everything like refreshed uh, there. It, yeah, it seems to do this little like flash thing. Oh, yeah, we are getting some rain coming in soon. Oh, are we? Yeah, Hof no storm, so hopefully we don't lose power as we do every other time. <laughs> Let's see. I'm a pescatarian and have been for about four years. I grew up on a farm and gave up yeah. meat. Yep. Understandable. I gave up one meat source at a time. That's probably the smart way to do it. Instead I, of going cold turkey, just kind of steps. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, I did cold turkey, but then when I started to eat meat again, I did one at a time. And I you started, love cold turkey. It's like my uh, yeah. I do like cold turkey, but I uh, <laughs> I started with chicken. I think was the first thing we yeah. had, and then turkey, and then red meat. Um, I have had it for longer than me. Yes, fourteen <laughs> years. Yeah, I think so. About now. 
October, I believe it was October 22nd or 29th. I can't remember. You should click on your comment again just to. Oh, yeah. Let me put this back up. One more time for the. In case anybody wants this. The short bowel syndrome book for free. Yeah. It's a free resource. Check it out. Do I have a sister? No, I do not. I have a brother. <laughs> he is engaged. He's cute too, though. So you, do you have a sister? I dare you to say that to my brother the next time. <laughs> His He's fiance got, would laugh. He would just be like, they would be, oh. they would die laughing. Laughing. Um, they have two. See a ghost. They just said he has to head out. So I'm just trying to. <laughs> uh, May 18th. What's that? It's my birthday. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's a good day to have surgery. It's lucky. Look at all these. Um. Yeah, there's a lot of the emojis that are wow. showing up. Look at, look at those. They showed up. Oh, strange. Very selective from. Uh, this is again. Dream yard. Stream yards, yeah. yeah. Weird. The reason I use this is because I don't know if any of you guys watch Emily G. Baker. I love her. You do. I watch <laughs> so much Emily G. Baker. I get very interested in the uh, the different court cases. <laughs> Legal or uh, Courtney's question? You kind of answered it. I already but... answered. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh yeah, this depends comments. on the person. Um, um, let me see. <laughs> Lemon is a natural diuretic. I did not know that. That makes sense. Interesting. I wonder if lime is. is I lemon wonder. Lime? Are they like in the same family? Yeah. Um, okay. I've had my stoma for two and a half years and hate it. I'm now at 83 pounds and I'm scheduled for a reversal soon. I'm so discouraged because of survival rate. Um, I need to gain what are the this is, tips we, I mean, again, it's different for everybody, for you. What now we're seeing works is a lot of fluids, steak, protein, proteins. I mean, I proteins stress. are helpful, but there's only so much you can absorb with them before they just what? kind of, I, I think, go into like urea or I forgot the whole transformation there. I, I biologically, think but. I struggle with weight for I still do forever. My whole, my whole Crohn's diagnosis, it has been the hardest thing for me yeah. to just understand why. Um, I know that people have different shakes and stuff that they like to drink. Just calorie dense items, proteins, fluids that are calorie dense. Like I remember, I don't know if there's a doctor, just someone in Ireland said a Guinness is helpful. Oh, that was Michael Sears. Oh, his doctor said, have a Guinness. Yeah. Um, weight and food and all of that has been such a struggle because for the longest time it was pounded into me. It, take all these shakes, these high calorie things, put calorie powder on your food and it made food so unenjoyable. And so there are so many different things you can do. There are <laughs> calorie powders you can add to things like mashed potato, um, or, you know, any sort of liquidy foods. I I personally like the Scandi shakes. Yeah. Very high calorie. But also try to enjoy your foods too. Yeah. Because don't alienate food for yourself. Um yeah. but I for me right now, protein is what worked. That's yeah. at least that's what I think worked. Not get a few pounds with you. For better or for worse. Just a little bit. <laughs> We're Heading into our 30s or 30s. Oh, Bye, sorry, Cheryl. I, I know. We're, we're, Bye, this Cheryl. is the longest live stream we've ever done, I think. I know. Ah. And you're still getting more questions coming in. you got to pick it up. No, we got it. <laughs> uh, just ordered the book. Awesome. Uh, you see remission for eight years. I, That's awesome. Congrats, Anna. I looked into noon. Are you telling me to go? <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> no. on the back. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Um... I looked into using Noon during my severe IBSD flares, hoping to avoid needing IV fluids so often. I was told certain flavors do have ingredients that can actually increase oh, bowel motility. That's nice. Interesting. I personally notice if it's too high in sugar. Yeah. That's actually sugar. something I think to avoid in general is sugar, especially with dehydration and issues there. So. Sorry, I missed this. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. I, I apologize. <laughs> I didn't see that. Yeah, that one didn't pop up. Come on, YouTube. 
Thank you again. I know, yeah, I don't know why that didn't show up. Sorry about that. Thank you. Um, I have a lab service dog. Uh, oh, and five unemployed Springer Spaniels. <laughs> okay. So you can have unemployed go. dogs with an employed one. Good to know. We learned something. <laughs> I'm trying to. Oh, hello from Philly. You are not too far from us. I'm trying to figure out the right doctor. I. Okay. <laughs> I know. And I they think... usually have like a list wait lists too. Some of them, I feel like. Yeah. Um. Um. I don't know what hospital system you're looking at. I think I go to probably the biggest one in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do. Uh, and their GI clinic has good doctors from my experience. I have liked every doctor. I've had a nurse practitioner there, but they're not there anymore. I didn't think they were super helpful, but their doctors have been lovely. They have been. So. Uh, da, 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 da. Toilet paper lint. <laughs> Toilet paper lint, yes. That was lint. That's what I was looking for, a <laughs> dust. Congrats, Mags, again. I was caught up. Am I? No, we're oh, no. still, I think we got a few more to hit on. And it then. keeps doing that little, little flashy thing. I think it's just refreshing. And I'm seeing a lot of people with high temperatures. I feel bad. Uh, I saw 115 in Oklahoma, which I would not be a fan of. What's it here? Like 80s today? It's 80s, yeah, but super humid. I like, had, just, I've been wearing sweatshirts on my videos recently, and yeah. I had a few people be like, Are, is it cold there? No. It's not cold. <laughs> it's me. It's just now getting to the summer humidity in this area, so yeah. yeah. It's happen to be wearing yeah, great. a sweater or something. <laughs> um, Do you have any other good questions? Or I believe medical cannabis is the preferred term. Oh, interesting. Patience. I didn't know that. Um, I can't remember what it said on my card. I still have it somewhere. Yeah, I don't know. But it's expired. I don't know. What did you do before the stream and what will you do after the stream? Okay. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> so I took a nap. I I ate a turkey sandwich. And afterwards, we're going to have some steak tonight. Oh, yeah, we are. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, tonight we're probably going to chill. You're probably going to play Xbox again. I like to watch and play Xbox. I know that sounds weird, but I like comment on yeah. The nerdiness of it. <laughs> or a movie. We do that or movies usually just to relax. Interesting. I don't know if I ever noticed it helped slow down my output. I don't know. I, I might I, not have been paying yeah, attention to I, it I don't too think closely. We were, that was more for pain relief, if anything. So, and yeah. just like helping me sleep because trying to get comfortable with the Procto colectomy incision. I, I I went not that far or not that long after I had the surgery done. I went to a doctor to get the card, and I remember I couldn't sit. And he was like, "Oh, make yourself comfortable." And I'm like, "I literally can't sit. That's why I'm here." For you to help me. Someone text him. No, I was just checking the weather. <laughs> Sorry. Are we? I think a storm's coming. It is. That's what it looks like. In case you were interested, yeah, Kim Kardashian, I believe he was one. <laughs> um, Maybe he can do a pill out with you. That'd be interesting. Wait, do you have a good digestive system, Zach? What do you eat? Do you exercise? Yes. Anything, and I need to do more again. <laughs> uh, I've probably had zero digestive, I think, any health issues my entire life. I'm not saying that. <laughs> oh, wait, I've just, I guess, been fortunate. I've had pretty much zero issues, complications with anything. Um, whoop de doo I think the worst I've ever had to go to was a doctor to get a staple in my head when my mom accidentally shut a trunk door in my head when I was young, which... <laughs> It was an accident. It was my, I, I kind of. It's not right. on purpose. But yeah, outside of that, I don't think I've had like any health complications that were not. He had just, norovirus one time on Christmas Day. That's about it. Yeah. Or awful. if I just actually put a knife through my hand, and that's about it. The thing that gets me is you do that and you don't wake me to do the wound care. Yeah. The next morning, it was more painful for him to rip off all of the tape that he put 
on his hand. Stop the I'm bleeding. Like, if you didn't know this, I went to WOCN school I for know. about <laughs> two and a half seconds, and then I had to get my colectomy, so I didn't go anymore. Um, but I got through the wound care class. <laughs> Could have well, helped you. Yeah, no, pretty much. Uh, there's no food I can't really eat or struggle. I just don't like coconut or olives. They're like the two things that just make me gaggy. <laughs> I don't like them. And exercise, I used to a lot more. I used to run a ton. And honestly, I just, I need to get back into it. I prefer running to most exercising. I, I do some weightlifting here and there, but yeah, really the best thing I've always enjoyed is running. Mm -hmm. Used to be quite good at it, but now I'm probably slowed down. I think uh, used to hit the 430 or under mile mark. He, with his job, they did like soccer after work, which yeah. I thought was cool. They, they made up <laughs> soccer teams and just like did soccer. And you said you were one of the better. No, no, I'm no? just, I can just run around. Uh, my hand eye coordination is horrendous. That's why I don't do other I, sports. The way that we met was through his roommate, Manchild, in college. And Manchild, I can't, Tyler. I'm trying to hit people bye. as they're saying bye uh, now. I'm he like created an intramural soccer team that Zach and I both joined. And that's kind of how we yep. met. And Zach was, I think, the worst on our team. <laughs> I actually played soccer growing up. Yeah. You did not know that you don't use your hands in soccer. Okay. It <laughs> it's a free for all. Okay, let me see. Zach, don't look. Please do a video on pick line. You didn't get any training. Oh, wow. Okay, so yeah, that's definitely a. I'm about uh, to call up some of these hospitals. Topic that you have to look into and help out with. Oh, let's see. And I'll sit by Heather. Bye. I know this is a long live stream. We'll probably wrap it up in the next like 10 minutes. Yeah. Because okay? I feel bad. It's going on for a while. Um, but I appreciate you guys sticking around. Yeah, hopefully everyone's been enjoying it. Yeah. If you've been here throughout the whole time and uh, yeah, just here to chat with us and enjoy a peaceful Sunday evening, yeah, afternoon, so nice. day, afternoon, evening, wherever you may be. Um, I have had GI issues for 10 plus years, have pos positive specialized tests, positive ANA and celiac blood tests, had an, uh, endoscopic and colonoscopies. No answers. Any advice? I'm frustrated. <sighs> This is so hard to answer because what I would recommend is getting second, third, 18th opinions. But I also know that some people that is just not a possibility. You might live in a rural area that's difficult to get to different doctors. Um, I don't know where you live, but what I found is the big, the big city places. Like I feel very fortunate to be close to Philadelphia if I had to, I could go to New York City. They just seem to have more resources. I know when my dad got his um, open heart surgery, I was like, go into Philly. So if something happens, they've got the resources somewhere nearby, should you need them. Um, but I know that's not a possibility for everybody. Yeah. It's so hard. <laughs> I wish I had better advice for this. Um, I hate that everybody has different experiences <laughs> With healthcare and just like yeah. advocating for yourself, it's it, advocating for yourself is not easy, um, and it's difficult to do when you are sick and you want answers and you're not getting answers, or maybe doctors are not taking things seriously enough for you. <sighs> if anybody has advice, please <laughs> put it in the comments. I feel bad that I, I it's a, it's a tricky, such a tricky yeah. situation. Um, I've had a Proviac for two years. Nice. I had one patient that had one on their back. It was... What medicine are you on now? I am on, uh, I am on bi-weekly doses of Humira. Yeah. So... That pinned the question. There we go. There we go. Yep. I take it every <laughs> other week. Uh, I see another question about the barn. If you watch a little earlier, you're going to yeah. see my little anger come out. <laughs> for that, again, we're going to probably save that for a whole another channel, channel topic, and, yeah. multiple videos, and time. We're, it's yeah. a very, very long, long, loaded question for us to answer. So, yeah, well, once we start posting videos on that, we'll 
set, direct you to. We're trying to keep it a little separate from uh, this one, and we might do another channel on that. Yeah. Um, See my name. I'm trying to... Oh, what is the temperature there? Yeah. Oh, that was where I saw the 115 in uh, Oklahoma. Yeah, that's terrible. I'm seeing a lot of questions that I think I've answered. We can go through, because there might be people that have joined in now, so I would just say we can kind of touch on them real quick. Just in case this, someone wasn't here for okay. the, it's been a long chat. <laughs> um, do I stay away from wheat and dairy? No, I do not. No. How can you tell if you have a low hemoglobin without getting blood tests? I mean, things like fatigue, you might be a little pale. Um, hey. Paler than you pale. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> uh, you may notice blood loss, like if you've got something like Crohn's disease, you may have uh, blood loss in your stool. Yep. Um, that was one of my big symptoms before I had an ostomy. I basically all that came out of me was blood. So I'm trying to think what else. Your nails might be blue. Your nails may, I think there's something with your nails. They can actually change like get ridges or something. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> I will. Uh, Does humidity affect the bag sticking? Sometimes, yes. <laughs> I Before I had issues with them, um, when I was with the cold glass bags, I never thought that humidity or water affected how the bag would stick. But yeah. it, it really depends on the person. Some people can go swimming with their ostomy and have no issues. That's how I normally was. But once my skin started acting up, if I got any water on my ostomy or it was humid, my skin would yeah. freak out and the bag would peel off and it was a whole thing. Um, so it can, yeah. Oklahoma needs some storms, so we will send some your way. We've, we had no rain for about one month straight where we live, so this has been a nice change of pace for us. Like, it's been very, like, all of our grass, flowers, everything died, so. Uh, um, Can I share info on C. diff? And MRSA. Um, I have been so fortunate that I've never had C. diff. I don't, I don't think I've had MRSA. Um, I don't have a ton of information about it, to be honest with you. Um, I just know with C. diff, wash your hands. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Soap and water, hot water. The question right after that. Some words I don't know. Oh no, I just didn't know the first one. I don't, yeah, I don't know the first one. Pre so, um, huh. flax seeds and chia seeds. Those I know are, can be uh, difficult to digest in uh, I, generally. I'm trying to remember. I one time had, I think it was chia seeds. I had an issue. Uh, generally, I don't have issue with seeds. I don't have issue with. Fibrous what things, about vegetables. Um, nuts as well? Those can all, like elements can be hard to digest. Personally, I'm okay with them. Okay. I'm, oh god, my hip just cracked. Hopefully, y'all didn't hear that. Oh, that hurt. Um, so the scale of zero to ten, now she's at a one and a half. Two. Yeah, that, that hurt. <laughs> oh. Um. um. Thank you, triathlete. She's been really been here. Oh, most. thank you. I. An odor with an ostomy. I, it can be, wait, sorry, there's dog for flying. I was petting Holly. Be, yeah. Thank you, Holly. You wanted to be on screen and that's I'm going to take a it. step. Isn't it because you can't go through the full digestive cycle that it doesn't break down the uh, food Well, I as think well? it's just like your output can be more liquidy and that just, oh. you know, um, but also it can be what you ate. Uh, so many different factors. It could be the bacteria in your gut. That's fair. Yeah. So. Lots of different reasons. That's why I love having an ostomy. I can put deodorizer in my bag and... Someone heard your uh, hip pop. Did you? <gasps> it was loud. <laughs> my hips pop so much. I better not have hip problems when I'm older. Uh, do Okay, so this one, do I... Yeah. Um, oh, I, I get <laughs> rectal spasms. I do. And I, I don't have a rectum. There's the ghost, uh, phantom yeah, or ghost spasms. I would equate it. I can't really equate it to this because I've never had a limb or anything removed. But 
I think it might be sort of a similar feeling where it's just like the muscle memory. Oh, yeah, the same concept. Okay. Yeah. Um, can. It can be good to go to teaching hospitals. Huh. Very true, very true. Did I get to the end? Be caught up. I got to the end. Woohoo! Okay. We did it. I'm proud. I am proud. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for being here, guys. No, this was fun. I went by a lot faster than I thought we thought it was going to go because just the interactivity, the engagement, which thank you everybody for supporting us, uh, being here with us and hopefully uh, enjoying the time here together with everybody. Yeah. And as we get our storm rolling in, hopefully we keep power tonight. We almost anytime it rains, uh, we lose power or just any storm by us. So yeah. glad we got this or we're able to do this now before we lose everything for a few hours. Yes. <laughs> we'll see. Um, oh, I should put, I made all these banners or whatever you call them. Don't forget to subscribe. Although I have the, you have the comment I want. Don't forget to subscribe. Wait, I got it this time. It's right here. <laughs> I'm trying to think what else I had. Uh, I mean, and you did all this work and all I these know, great banners. The out, did you have the outro, the thank yous? Oh, all? here we go. Here's my other social media. I think it's this one. Well, I'm... If you're wondering why my one name is different <laughs> from all the others, because Instagram deleted my account because they, yeah. Ooh, I don't know, I think I Instagram. offended them with my stoma. Um, but if you want to follow me anywhere else, I'm probably yeah. the most active on Instagram and Facebook. And... For members, July yep. 16th, Sunday. That seems to be the most popular. That's two weeks from today. Okay. Same time as today. And uh, it'll be more quiet. I might just uh, chat because I don't know how many questions I'm going to get. But uh, I'll just chat about what's going on. And yeah, if you have something you want me to talk about, you want me to look up beforehand, I will do that. You bring a burn up here to say goodbye. You say bye, buddy. He's so Perfect. handsome. Look at the white on his face. I can't. I can't. Yeah, My baby. I want it. I want it. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for being here. I will have a vlog go up tomorrow night. And happy 4th of July if you're yep. here in the U.S. Uh, hopefully you have something fun to do or, yeah. you know, whatever. I did learn a lot of countries actually celebrate just through a lot of English or American expats. Uh, they have 4th oh. of July celebrations. And I, it's, uh, it's a little weird. Yeah. Even the UK. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> I mean, if you like the fireworks and stuff, it's a good time just to get together with people. I don't know. That's true. But no, thank yes. you everybody again for thank being you. here. And we'll have to do this again sometime. Yeah. And I do have an outro, so that's going to play. I added some music. So let's let that run. Yeah. See you guys very soon. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.